is a test. This is not the actual stream. Pay no attention to this. This isn't real. Okay, back to the pre-stream.
Three. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to 1D4 Plus One, The Amber Wars. That's unlucky. Um, <laughs> reminder before we begin to head over to Threadmancer.com and use the promo code Amber Wars at checkout to receive free shipping on all orders over $25. I just followed Threadmancer on Twitter today as I'm learning how to use Twitter. Excellent. <laughs> um, another announcement. The game is finally Oh my out. god! So go over to Steam and buy it. Uh, Seventh Circle. Buy it. it. Buy it. Buy it. Please. Buy Seventh it. Seventh Circle. Buy Seventh it. Circle. Just remember the name. <laughs> I thought he would give me a tagline. -E Seventh Circle. Seven circle. circle. I was like, the name's James Bond. <laughs> James Bond. <laughs> All right, let me just pull up Steam real quick. <laughs> the the game is I... out. My book is announced. Yes. What's Every... the name of the book? What is called First Test. First Test. 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 Yeah, <clears throat> it's the same as the novel it's based on. Oh, okay. By Tamara Pierce. When's that coming out? 2021. 2021. <laughs> Buy it. <laughs> is it is it a six book precursor? Is them not to Seven Circle? I'm oh gonna, no. I'm going to have to like print a picture of Sam's face and like tape it to this thing so I remember that he's here because I can't see him. So just he's laughing. Just like <laughs> looked at like. Why is his angle so? <sighs> So he can like see, see what's uh, going on. Things. You should Sam stick is wearing a Blue's Clues shirt today. Is he? <clears throat> yeah, he looks a like Steve. Bit. Oh yeah. You We're gonna call you a... Steve for the whole show. Just set up a mirror over there so <laughs> you can there you see go. Sam. So he's just like hiding right in between. <laughs> or there. Joe. You know, Joe yeah. is one of the other Blue's Clues. There's a new, new one now. Yeah, that's right. I don't know his name. I don't either. Oh, this is this is a gray shirt. Oh, it looks green. Sorry. It, is, it is very, very gray. Yeah, it looks green on our screen. Yeah. <laughs> looks like a green screen. No, it didn't work. <laughs> All right. This is going to be great today. <laughs> so, Good audio. Get look it back. New table. Yes, new table. Yay. It's almost done. Um, so last time. Oh, my fingers, Bowie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys had... Take a little bit of time to get used to your new digs, the Gray Estate in the city of Zadara, and then decided to head north to the Shatter Bay. Uh, making your way north on the tramway, you were dropped off in the Geist Hollow Marsh, met with the local nightlife briefly, and uh, made your way to the coast itself. As you approached, uh, Virio heard ah. the sound of... Uh, <coughs> loud cracking or something in the distance as you all made your way onto the beach heading somewhat uh, to the south to investigate it. You were attacked by a wyvern which you thoroughly kicked the ass of and it flew off beaten and bloodied. So with the gray sky overhead a wind blowing in from the west meeting you head on as you walk along the coastline the black sand beneath your feet and the uh, landscape before you slowly turning from the hillscape which you walked out of the marshes in to some craggy rock formations. What would you all like to do? Do you think I could capture a wyvern and ride it like in Fire Emblem? This is kismet to everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe. If you want to die. I think fire kind of is your emblem so there's that. I mean, wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because it's different in every game what the fire emblem is. <laughs> Anne asks me every time, and I'm like, well. <laughs> I don't know. I thought you were more like Fire Nation material. <clears throat> so? So, <laughs> how do you feel the adventure's going? <laughs> Somewhere on an 11 out of 42. <laughs> That's Just not... for my hit points. Oh. Well, we're on the beach now, right? Hey, speaking of, my pins are arriving soon. My my, The special ones that haven't been announced yet that I made with the slider. Oh. oh. Yes, they're arriving. I got the shipment notification today. 
Um, so so you guys made your way onto the coast <laughs> around this area, and as you made your way south, you fought the wyvern just to the south of that. And we're headed towards the... Shatter Bay! No! <laughs> the top of the we're, lion's snout. Yeah, yes. over here. Yeah. Woo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> the Wyvern Isles. Booping some snoots! Let's go <laughs> boop that snoot! Is that the lion's snoot or wyvern snoot? Ah, uh, yeah! <laughs> Both of them, I guess. Yes to all. You don't, have to, have, you don't have to be John. snoot snooty. Yes. I want to... John, would you mind shooting me a... Uh, oh, yeah, I can show that to you real quick. I can, John, would you mind shooting me? <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you watching the, stree- the stream as we're streaming? That would be horrible. But then you could His see... quality already you sucks. You just mute it. Yeah, that's true. You're, you're already Don't ruin your Facebook! Facebook. Uh, Facebook. You, should just, you should just, like, screen share what's on here. Totally. <laughs> Oh my. Uh, where are you? There you are. What's going on in Facebook? Yeah, really. Look, you've got some. Really, this lesson is such a good Incredible. It's the Elmo oh, pooping gift right. for anyone wondering. It's because I changed <laughs> our emoji. Oh, that's right, to the toilet. Oh, There's a big, big spider on that window. Yeah, there is. See, I wasn't aware that that's what it was. So I like went and found like the toilet emoji and I clicked it and I was like, oh, it's a lot smaller than everyone else. Uh-huh, no, I changed it from the thumbs up to the toilet because it, f- it suits us. You know, someone, when they saw... That spider, they're like, I'm gonna name that Long Legs. And then they thought, mm, not kinky enough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I was supposed to stop. Yeah, you got it. Uh, that. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. I'm barely old enough contact. for this. Do you do you call Kyrian Daddy? No. There's a spare, there's a double room downstairs. There's a double room in the basement. It's his now. Yeah, can you um, use a roommate. There's actually one more piece of uh, information that we need to announce. Um, Your and brother. that is that John was able to find my other two sets of dice that have been missing <laughs> since we began this campaign a year ago. By Ooh. missing, so jeans were just in I the now cubby. have choices of my Wait, dice. they were in the cubby of the... Dr- this Directly like, no. in front of where she sits, yes. Yeah. I, I reached in there and I was like, hey, oh. look, dice. <laughs> They're all very nicely color-coordinated, though. No, I love it. Okay, sorry, that was my last piece of non-campaign-related. Uh, That's pretty yes. campaign-related. Well, so my life update so far is... Uh, <laughs> yeah, what's going on with you, Tammy? You've been at work? <laughs> I'm at work and Are school. you alive? <laughs> right now, I'm not really... Okay. <laughs> let's play. Let's play D and D where we have like money and yeah, we can do we, things. We have a house. Yeah, <laughs> where yeah. we have a house. This is great. It's so imaginary. <laughs> <laughs> a house that we don't have to like keep track of. Well, to Incredible. be fair, we could be playing D and D in someone's apartment. True. So there's that. Yeah. Anyways. So we're continuing on. Perfect. That's all I needed to hear. Yeah, we've been walking this whole time as we've been talking. <laughs> talking about your characters for your upcoming game of offices and bosses. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna be a staffing and scheduling analyst. <laughs> My be character's dead. a real nerd. <laughs> I'm gonna be dead inside. <laughs> well, that's just the background. Yeah. <laughs> that's your class gonna be. <laughs> I'm um, a millennial. Dead yeah. Inside. As you. <laughs> as My you guys, name will uh, be Nurse Kelly. <laughs> Kelly, not kinky enough. Nurse Kelly. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> no! Today is going to go really, so really bad. well. Yeah. We're walking. So as you're making so your way walking. along the southern coast of the Shatter Bay, yeah. you begin to see tall rock columns protruding out of the foggy salt water. Tiny silvery fish swirl about in schools within the waves, and you see the odd black and gray crabs scuttling along by your feet. That's odd. After about an hour or so, you can look down the beach and uh, that cracking sound has gotten less frequent, but louder when it does occur. Um, And as you all begin to make your way from the beach itself, as it becomes sort of like difficult to climb rocks um, up to the top of that, please make a perception check. I'm complaining the entire time we have to climb anything. Uh, You know, sometimes I think it's called the Shatter Bay, 
because of the cracking sound that happens. Cracking where? <laughs> I hate Don't this. Buy dice. All of these rocks are slippery and gross. <laughs> It's probably covered in algae. Oh, there are. There is absolutely like the uh, gray green. Oh yeah. I'm mostly imagining everything. Imagining what's it from Star Wars recent? There's been a lot of recent Star Wars. No, but the one where Luke is. Oh. Oh, Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of along that vibe. Yeah. Um, little, little bit less open ocean everywhere, but same general Northern Ireland-y feel. Steps. Yeah. <laughs> S-T-E-P-P-E-S. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I that's not, it's not how I okay. thought it. it Perception first. checks. 19! Okay. 15. Okay. 9. 9. And 11. All right. Rion Kismet, you are able to find the source of this cracking sound. Oh. Um... Looking down, um, combat. I need like Why a. Why is it called combat? For <laughs> a reason. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like bring my giant bar chair so that I can actually see. No, we just have to stand up when there's combat. So no. how we're standing. I have that white one that you gave me. Because you all right are there. standing just on the periphery of the map over here. You see. Lying dead, one cyclops, standing about knee deep in these shoals, another one, and... He's dead? One of them's dead. One of them is dead, the okay. other one is not. Is the dead one still a standing one or the non-standing one? That one would not be a, having a mini, you <laughs> dipshit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> is the crab a cyclops crab? Yes, the crab is the cyclops, uh, and fighting it, you see a minotaur. Hell Yeah. And you see a giant hyena standing alongside the minotaur, and the two of them are fighting. Uh, the cracking sound, you realize, is a combination of the cyclops swinging a huge stone club and it crashing down on the rocks as it misses the creatures, or the minotaur charging forward and smashing into the shin guards that the cyclops has armoring itself. Fuck you. Yeah. I'm like, pig dog! <laughs> Wait, can you point what? to... So are they all three fighting each other, or are there two against one? It seems that the hyena and the minotaur are fighting with one another on the same team against the cyclops. So minotaur, hyena, cyclops. Got it. Okay. Those two. <coughs> the way that you place them would make perfect sense then. Um. Oh, would you look at that? What? Uh, I think Vera, are you at a 19 on your perception yeah. check? Uh, also, as you're looking over to the south, as you're looking up above, you can see that the rock formation has gotten somewhat taller, um, and there are a bunch of small tunnels carved into it, and you can see some small beaded eyes shining out, uh, watching this back and forth as some harpies are oh. waiting for the fight to finish. I was going to gonna say Jawas. <laughs> oh, my. oh. It's oh. just a peep, peep, peeping tongue. Big dog. Big dog. Yeah, big dog. we might want to hold up for... Big dog. What just, is, um, can we sneak by them? Sneak you by. don't see them. Look at those <laughs> Look at those eyes. Nice. <laughs> can we sneak by them? Harpies, I don't know. Sneak by them or sneak by the Cyclops and the coolest people alive? The, the them. Are we shouting right now? No. <laughs> yes, but are we not shouting? Here is always shouting. <laughs> I'm talking loud enough to be heard over the waves. All right. Um, the fighting does continue. You see the Cyclops bring its club down at the hyena. Uh, as it smashes down, the hyena sidesteps it and sprays salt water everywhere up against the rocks, and the hyena jumps forward to bite onto the Cyclops's hand carrying the club, and the Cyclops rears back in time to avoid getting ripped into what would you all like to do? I don't know if this is our place to intervene in this. They might just be doing this for fun. I was going to say, <laughs> how do we know which side would we even join? Yeah. Um, does, is the, the dead Cyclops? Can big dog. I'm on big dog's side. Can we tell if it died in the fight? Does it have? It looks very recently dead. I'll just give you that. 
I'm gonna. I don't think we should engage. Yeah. I, what would be the purpose? They don't right. have what we need. That makes sense. Non-committal, Aurora. What? You wanna? More like efficient. Are you in a place where you can fight right now? Because you don't look so hot. <laughs> <laughs> I can always fight. I don't know what you're talking. Well, maybe not. <laughs> that was me. Did that was sure me looking down. Did you, just, did you just do a dig on me? <laughs> not yet. That's late. That, that's old news. Yeah. <laughs> you sure could fight, but you might not survive it. That's a good point. And yes, it was a joke about you and Carrion. <laughs> I guess that was really all it was. Um. So you didn't want to engage. So That's what I was going for. Yeah. Where? Yeah. Okay. I got. I got. Yeah, Is sorry. there any way, like, the other, the, the big caves over there are full of uh, wonders, harpies? Oh, uh, is there any way up over the, the little caves? Um, it's about forty feet up, so you could attempt to climb up above. Um, we could we could climb over it. That would put you in fairly close proximity to the harpy swarms in the, in the tunnels up above. Them. Yeah, but what's the worst that would happen? Would we fall off the cliff face? <laughs> oh, no. Poof, wings, I'm fine, right? That's right? one of you, us. Yeah. You have feather fall. <laughs> shh, shh, I don't want to climb. We all know you have it. I don't want to climb. Yeah, I saw you use I'm, it. I'm fine, depending on how high we are. I can probably survive that. <laughs> I right now. I would probably die. You I might swim. Uh, swim through the air. And for the, and I could for swim, the water. couldn't I? Mm -hmm. Just now, you could just swim. Yeah. If you guys want to climb, I'll just swim and meet you on the other side. Yeah, that's safe. <laughs> <laughs> um. R.I.P. Aurora, see you next year. I'll just trundle through the through the beach, guys, don't Are you don't implying worry. that when we die, we'll come back again? What? <laughs> <laughs> it happened once already, so might as well test it out. I don't wanna. That's a bad idea. Wait, you you can't help with that? No. No? No. It's what, no? It's supposed to be once it's done, it's done. That's what I help with. I think possibly the best option for us to do is to go past the Cyclops. Which is like, walk casually past them? <laughs> yeah. I mean, they are fighting, they might not notice us. Yeah. I'll prepare my spell of whistling. Just, don't mind us. <laughs> Can I disguise oh. myself to look like oh, 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 the oh, oh. Excuse me. <laughs> Um, to what? look like what? That is not what no. disguise. A no. rock? <laughs> Moving you can look like a rock. You can look like another humanoid. Okay. <laughs> look like can a... I look like the rock? I wasn't yes. sure if I could... <laughs> if I could, like, blend in, like, camouflage. No. No, that's called invisibility. Yeah. Do you know invisibility? No. Oh, me neither. I did have that moment, though, where I thought I might have. No, it seems like an Aurora spell. At this point, the Minotaur is left up onto the rock here, and the Cyclops is fighting it. The hyena has flanked around behind. Uh, all three of them are looking pretty beat up. Well, I think we should just Let's go down there, get past them quick, and let the harpies feast after uh, whoever dies. I don't. I feel bad leaving Big Dog, though. I don't. Let's go. You but Big Dog! No, I well, don't you, care. You'll get close to Big Dog and you're going to see that he's not so nice looking. Yeah. <laughs> you can go I, pet him if you want. Whatever. Let's Trevor is literally a hellhound. No, he's, he's a hell puppy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> he's Trevor's like, eyes sparkle <laughs> in the gray light. He is a hell puppy. <laughs> Remember when he looked like a cyclops? That was a good time. Um, I always picture Trevor looking with one like eye? with one eye. I never, <laughs> initially, when he springs to mind, I do always get that. I initial always light. picture him with one eye. Like yeah. I still think he has one eye. I, I do too that sometimes. Happened. Do you remember when you had? Could he have just I, I chosen that. to That's stay that was. way? Hmm? No. No, it only lasts for now. No, because then I would still have hooves. No, yeah. it would match Kyrie and You'd have much. to chosen. <laughs> Fenric would to be wear dead. Hooves. <laughs> to have hooves, not wear them. I would just have like. One I'm climbing cliff. down the cliff side. Okay, you're lowering me <laughs> down. <sighs> yeah? Yeah, me too. We, so we're going to go down on, and walk past them on the sneak beach? past then? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Sam says he's also doing that. Perfect. All right, so uh, go ahead and make uh, stealth checks then. Uh, yeah, choose him. Can anybody give us some boosts for stealth? No. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll help. Oh, God. Can anybody oh, say no. <laughs> 
No. Okay. That's Never pretty mind. good. I'll give you a hint. I'm, they probably notice me. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a 19. Dirty 20. All right. Aurora and uh, Roland both slip by fairly unnoticed. 16. 16! As does Kismet and Vario. But Frederick, as you walk by, what do you got? A hot five. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's just, it's hard to be sneaky when the rocks are all broken up in piles like this because you kind of have to like jump Ow. from one to the other as you're Ow. moving past. So <laughs> the rest of you make it. I just start clanging. Over to this point easily. Um, Fenric around here, you just step across and like lose your footing a little bit and your heavy metal shoulder pad just slams into the rock face and then kind of like scrapes as you try to balance yourself out. Um, You're good. You're good. You're good. There's a pause in the fight in front of you. Um, as I cover my eyes look over and pretend sh- like I just, I freeze. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I um, freeze. Make a perception check for me real quick. God. With my eyes closed? Uh, yeah, with your eyes closed. <laughs> 11. And 11, um, as you kind of like go to get yourself steadied and keep moving, you kind of, like, glance up and you can see, like, the harpies above you kind of seeing that you're pretty bloodied yourself are kind of looking downward at you and cocking their heads to the side and you hear some, like, (laughs) chanting up above you. Gross. That was horrifying. Thanks. (laughs) Thanks. (laughs) (laughs) Um... Henrik! Um. <laughs> Henrik, get over here! Come, come, coming. As Gross! As <laughs> uh, Fenric. Eyes. The <clears throat> Cyclops swings its club out again and bashes into the hyena who goes flying back <gasps> and collides with the wall. Uh, and as it smashes into the wall you see its form begin to shift and you see another minotaur who Aww. looks up at you blinking somewhat like birds spinning around their head uh, and like some blood running out of their mouth they sort of blink at you and shake their head and stand up and what would you like to do? Oh, big dog gone oh. the hyena wild shaping? I mean wait hold on the minotaur <laughs> Was, maybe it was a person who was wild shaping as a minotaur who was wild shaping as a hyena. Yeah, I'm sure that's it, Aurora. Oh my no, I'm pretty God. sure the hyena is wild shaping as a minotaur. Right now. <laughs> they just dropped a wild shape, yeah. That's the best big dog I've ever seen. <laughs> do I have to, like, do I have to move over to him for a medicine check? Um, if you're just giving them a once over, you can. Yeah, we're gonna do, you can do, do it from so. there. Yeah, you don't have to go all the way over. How's he doing? That's a 17. Um, they look pretty beat up. Um, not on their last legs, but they that definitely rocked their house a little bit. Did, so he so he looked at me and like saw me and <clears throat> kind of like stared at me. Yeah, just sort of like looked up at you, trying to figure out if you're like a result of the massive trauma their body just took, or I see this really weird, really shiny small man. Who's this shiny small man? <laughs> <laughs> I it is dark. It looks like that, right? And it's getting to be like dusk. I'm gonna turn around so that my my cloak is to him mm-hmm. and basically I'm that same color <laughs> I'm like all iridescent <laughs> I'm gonna like wrap up my cloak and try to run the rest of the way okay go ahead and make uh, an athletics check so you can get across quickly God. 17 17 okay yeah easily you just sort of run the rest of the way abandoning stealth you're able to rejoin the rest of your companions yeah so, do, we're just gonna leave them, right? Everyone's on on team. Just ditch these guys. I am. What are the harpies doing? Um, <clears throat> as you're glancing at Fenric, kind of running along clank, the clank, coastline clank, this clank, way, clank. yeah. Um, a few of them have sort of like curiously skittered around behind. <laughs> behind Fenric? Yeah. 
They're not attacking yet, but it looks like they're like following the yeah. They're they're saying it's my it's like kind of like buzzards. Interconic in, in whatever. In what harpies speak? Yes. Harpy. Draconic. <laughs> I yeah. Ignore it. I had to learn it for this sorority. <laughs> if you remember, it's like you know, high school level. Draconic. That's what they're called. The group of harpies is a sorority of harpies. That's why they can only say mine. Mine. <laughs> um. Cool. Okay. Um. I'm on team ditch. Yeah, but we better do it carefully because Fenric got admirers. <laughs> Damn right! Why are you looking so fine to those harpies? <laughs> mm-hmm, like a real beef cake. <laughs> yeah, like a real piece of meat. Mm-hmm. Alright, we, sh- we should probably go, though, bef- like, Fenric, hurry up. Maybe they'll get distracted by the, the dead cyclops or something. Oh. Yeah, why didn't they swoop on that one yet? Because uh, they'd be in range of being attacked. Yeah, it's like next to the other cyclops. Um, at this point, the second Minotaur has rejoined uh, the fight, uh, standing back somewhat, and you see it uh, extend a staff out, and uh, Vine Whip rip reaches out and like rip cords across the back of the Cyclops. The Cyclops, the uh, Minotaur on its uh, two feet with like a heavy battle axe, um, jumps forward and slams its <clears throat> axe down into the chest cavity of this cyclops and it falls backwards into the water and this <laughs> spray of water <laughs> splashes up and then you see the waters muddied by blood. I'm like nice job! Uh, they <laughs> sort of turn and <laughs> nice, nice job. <laughs> the, the one who you had been closer to Fenric says no thanks to you I suppose. Hey we but didn't again, help or harm but then again, if you hadn't come, the outcome would have been the same, I suppose. Well, I, Fenric looked, distracted something. Yeah, it looked like you were doing a. It looked like you had it. Okay, bye. I I checked <laughs> it, and and the voice above said you had it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, they begin to gather themselves up and begin. Walking in your direction. God! Oh, this is We awkward. said goodbye already. How's it? How's it going? Why are Fine. you fighting? What? What are you doing here? But Come here like, often. They're not like walking towards us aggressively, right? They're just walking in the same direction. Yep, walking like, like up to their knees in the uh, the waves. They're uh, approaching the <clears throat> um, larger of the two has sheathed their uh, axe across their back. Uh, the one carrying the quarterstaff. Um, let me give you their description as they approach you. Uh, the larger one is sort of picture them uh, as minotaur versions of like a Highland coup. Uh, yes. Big, shaggy, uh, long haired. Um, the larger one has the bright red orange fur, and the second one is more uh, black overall, but like with highlights of like red running down the side of their face, uh, towards the ends of their arms and on the top of the uh, back of their shoulders. You didn't say their aesthetic was so cool they might have stopped. Yeah, uh, we might have stopped if we knew how cool they looked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they are both wearing very uh, simple hide armor. Um, and as they approach, the larger of the two extends his hand outward and says, Hello, my name is Dornak. I, I, shake, I it. shake it. I also, we all <laughs> shake it. I also it. shake it. Okay. <laughs> roll in is, roll in standing go, back. Go team. Go, thank you. Um, and this is my sister, Rosfa. Hello. Which one's which? Rosfa's which one? Uh, Rosfa care. is the uh, Druid. smaller of the two who was yeah, in wild shape as the hyena. Dornak is the fighty boy with the axe. Okay. I totally and, call it was wild shape. And fighty boy is You're so what good color? I need to he's know. The, he's the all red one. <laughs> Got it. Rosva's black with red accents. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Aurora in the background like, oh, I oh, called it. Wild shape. <laughs> Knew it. <laughs> what called a call. It. I said, Aurora, is that polymorph? No, that's a wild shape. <laughs> I see you have Claude Brune. <laughs> Do you want one too? We ran out. What? 
Uh, you can have mine. We never run out. Let's be real. We always stock up but before we go I keep on a mini fridge in my bag of holding. Perhaps you prefer an iron brew. Ha! Ooh. I would. <laughs> Where did you acquire it? Uh, a oh, specialty yeah. store. Yeah, I got you some of that orange cotton candy piss Bubble water. Bubblegum flavor. Whatever. It's next to tepid subject. Um, what brings you to the Shatter Bay? My feet. How about you? <laughs> Mine as well, <laughs> I suppose, though I was born here. We oh, just that's don't see cool. a lot of um, shiny people. Um, you were born here, so have you s- been here your whole life? Yes. You never come moved here somewhere? Often? Have you back? noticed anything no. bizarre recently? Other than us. Other than me. Other than us. us. Yeah. Other yes, than us. Than me. Um, Any bizarre happenings or pirates or bizarre hap or pirates? Pirates. That's ridiculous. <laughs> does he does he have an eye patch? No. <laughs> Are you a pirate? <laughs> he reaches up with his hooked hand, which I hadn't mentioned. Uh, no, I haven't seen any pi- pirates. You said. He like this hides the keys to his boat. There's a ship floating in the bay, and he <laughs> weep, weep, locks it. <laughs> <laughs> If, um, you're, if you're a pirate, you have to tell me it's the law. <laughs> it's entrapment, otherwise. I, am, I know the law. What law is that? Uh, pirate law. Pirate law. Oh. <laughs> I am well versed, for I am the greatest bird lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, strange activities. Um, well, recently we have been in conflict with a group that is new to the Shatter Bay, but I don't know if... I'd love to hear about it. Are they the, like the Cyclops you were just fighting? No, that Cyclops has just been pestering our village and stealing our... Uh, Women. That's what I was going <laughs> <was> to say. <laughs> uh, Rasma cracks her knuckles and is like, no. Nah. <laughs> You're about to get stole. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I'm shiny. I look valuable. The Cyclops has been stealing our supplies of fish and food that we have been gathering that we bring back to the village lately. So we killed it and its mate. At least they are, could die together. I suppose. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fire emblem. That's fine. <laughs> So, um, um, go ahead and make a persuasion check, whoever's leading this conversation. Um, <laughs> I'm more interjecting than leading, but I'll do the check. Is it me? You can do one, and, uh, I yeah, Kismet want... can do the other one. I'm, I'm just chilling. What, a persuasion? Yeah, persuasion. See if they're willing to let you on about their personal lives. God, that's so many Eleven. Okay. Thirteen. Um... Suffice it to say, there are some newcomers to the Shatter Bay who have been participants in a small skirmish which killed some of our best hunters. Sounds shitty. It is frustrating. Mm -hmm. Did they come from a boat or did they come from land? Uh, They came from the sea. So far. So two. Are they using any um, magic to... Fight? Um, we cannot say. We just found the bodies of our hunters. So if they don't use if they don't use boats, do they do they walk on water? God, what? How do they get there? (laughs) They don't ride wyverns, do they? They are triton folk. I was Uh, about to suggest Naruto running across water. Yeah, Uh, but not that. I already asked. So. You want to like hang out? Oh my god. Do you like, do you want to like go for a walk? Well, I don't, we don't really know where we're going, to be honest. We kind of just came down these ways and we're uh, looking for a thing and we just kind of need some help. Yes, back to that, you did not answer my question. What brings you to the Shadow Bay? Oh, we're looking for a thing and we'd love some company. 
for a little bit. <laughs> we're, on a, we're on a side quest. We're on a, we're on a quest. <laughs> oh, we're a side for, quest. Well. <laughs> we're looking for a stolen magical item. He looks down and sees NPC blazing across his chest. <laughs> or missing. Uh, or missing. Yeah, because it might not be stolen. I suppose it wouldn't hurt. Um, yeah, we're both walking in the same direction anyway, and that'd be really awkward. That is true. Uh, Roswa, your thoughts? She does. Oh, I think it's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, she that. nods, mm-hmm. and uh, she begins to lead the way down the coastline. Um, she she as just doesn't cool want to talk. talk very well. well, that's okay. I like a good listener. <laughs> I'm too young for this. You're not a good listener. Mm -hmm. As you all uh, begin to make your way down, um, the height of the cliffs to the south begin to increase. Uh, Getting further in, uh, there's a little bit more, I'm sorry, kismet climbing involved. Um, But they stop and they, like, help pull you up uh, when needed. Uh, They are... (laughs) Very, very strong. Yeah, just like they just reach down with one hand and just pluck you up and then set you down next to them. I'm like, what's the likelihood that I can just ride on shoulders? Mega persuasion. Are you asking Dornak or Ross? Sure, I, sure I'll give uh, you a little ride on my shoulders. No. Um, Your feet might hit the ground. Okay. Go for the persuasion check. Nine. <laughs> We're just not there yet. Uh-huh. I'm sorry. Fair. <laughs> Uh, You guys are walking for, like, another hour or two uh, as uh, night has begun to fall. And as you have been traveling on, the night grows colder. Um, The sky opens up, though. Uh, You can see the stars and the moon up above you. And as it uh, becomes a little bit more (coughs) frigid, uh, Rosva casts a spell and a small flame ignites in her hand as they make their way uh, along this rocky cliffside and then Dornak uh, stops in front of a large cliff and says It's not the bonfire spell, is it? No. It could be. Um, Everybody make a dexterity saving throw ever since. (laughs) Um, Okay. They stop at the edge of a very large rock, uh, which has like a sheer drop off into the water below. Um, You could climb up and around to your left and you would make your way kind of back inland and then possibly continue along the way. Um, But in front of you, you see a very large uh, rounded rock formation uh, standing maybe 120, 150 feet tall in certain places. what does and, it look like? Uh, just rocks. <laughs> and round. Round rocks. Yep. Yum. Okay. It's got a flat, grayish cliff. It's nighttime. Uh, Dornak stops and he says, well, this is our stop. Um, I do not know if you all have a place you are planning on staying this evening. No. Oh, are we stopping? I mean, it's getting late. I'm getting sleepy. Yeah, we didn't have a place in mind. It's almost eight. Kind of just going to keep going until we find a Motel 6 situation. So we hit about 5.30. Virio's tired. I yeah. see. <laughs> or make camp somewhere. Yeah, in these dark, spooky woods. Virio, like, bats his eyelashes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, where are the trees? <laughs> <laughs> That's not the wood he's talking about. Dornak doesn't give you re- like a reaction, but Rosva's just like. Do you say that? Yes. <laughs> this uh, is this is how you get pity. <laughs> uh, you don't have to try. Uh, he is old after all. Rosva walks over to the edge of the rock and just takes a giant leap outward and catches the face on the other side and begins to climb. Oh, easy. I run and I jump. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Are you going to use your flight thing? No, I'm going going to climb. Go ahead and make an athletics or acrobatics check. Yeah. 
This is a tall rock face. Ten. To climb. Ten. You catch on to it. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, oh. Easy peasy. I got this. Okay. I probably on. could. I probably. It's probably way too tall for me to reach, right? Man. Yeah. Okay. Running jump. You yeah. might be able to do it. Athletics. Yep. Dirty or twenty. Athletics. Dirty twenty. Yeah. You leap out. You're able to get a nice handhold and start climbing upward. I was gonna say otherwise. I was just gonna grab on a Virio and climb up him <laughs> first, and then and then climb. There you go. Is it? Can I wait uh, for them to get to the top? Um, after they climb, do you have dark vision? Um, I feel like I do, but let me double check. Cause I don't remember. That would be under um, features and traits. Racial, yeah, features and traits. Got it. Uh, Sixteen. Sixteen. I do not have dark vision. Uh, So after about uh, 30 feet of climbing or so, uh, you see Rosfa disappear. Um, Shortly after, Fenric disappears, as does uh, Virio. I have dark vision 120 feet. Okay. Uh, You see them climb up about 45, 50 feet or so, uh, and then they step up onto a ledge. Kismet, have they made it to the top yet? They made it to a ledge. Just a ledge? I don't know. I don't. My eyes can only see straight. I can't see around things. Uh, I'm gonna yell up. I'm not gonna answer that <laughs> sass whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going. To... <laughs> I'm gonna yell. Are you guys at the top? You guys can hear it easily enough. But, but are we at the top? You guys have made it up to the ledge where uh, Ross finds. But it's not the top of the cliff. We're at the ledge. I don't know. I can't see around anything else up here. <laughs> yeah, my eyes are Anyway, you can straight. throw down a rope to us. Well, I, I don't throw rope. That's gross. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> is that a dirty thing? I like to imagine this is in character. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm just like. I yell down. You don't want to touch that rope anyway. It wouldn't be good for climbing either. Yucky. Okay. <laughs> I've got some regular rope that I will lower down. How high up? Do we have enough? Uh, do we have a single it's strand 45? of rope? It's roughly, <clears throat> with the angle across included, uh, it's roughly 50 feet. Right. That's the length of rope. That is the length of rope that I have. So you're going to have to jump to the rope. <laughs> All right. I will also hold the rope. All right. If Virio wants me to. Okay, I'm gonna yeah. use the rope to help myself okay. climb up. Go ahead and make an athletics or acrobatics check. You're gonna have to jump across the chasm to catch onto the rope. See, this is the part that you all keep ignoring that yeah. I'm like. It's so easy. Just do it. I don't just get do advantage because there's a rope. Once you're climbing, you'll get it. But right now, you're jumping across the chasm onto a rope. Okay. I so what that. is what am I doing? Athletics yeah. or, or acrobatics? acrobatics. I can do acrobatics. Uh, can you? 12. Okay, you jump across and you do catch onto the rope. Okay. I go ahead and make an athletics or acrobatics check to climb up the rope. Mm, acrobatics <laughs> again! So I'm much better at that. You're the rope. Um, and it's with advantage, mm-hmm. so that's going to be 16. Alright, you easily enough clamber up the rope. Uh, those of you who have reached the top at this point, uh, you can see that you are on a narrow ledge uh, that runs about 10 feet across, uh, about 3 feet in, uh, and there is a small uh, carved out cove leading into somewhere where you can see firelight burning. Kismet, you and Dornak are standing on the edge of... Oh, and Roland. And Roland. See, see? Yeah. Roland, what are you doing? Uh, I rolled a 7. Alright, Roland, you run and jump and your, your weak, weak fingers... <laughs> <laughs> Scramble up against the side of the cliff and you begin to fall. <laughs> turn into a chasm. Bat. Okay, that's okay. what I thought. So I didn't fall just and turn die. Into a bat. So I guess when you zero and did it, flutter up. It's like it's like out of a movie or something. Just like, oh right, I can do this thing. 
I now look like a, I'm now a very um, unhappy bat. <laughs> a, grumpy, <laughs> a grumpy bat. One of those things hasn't Roman, changed from the your grumpy normal. grumpy bat. <laughs> uh, but you are able to fly up and uh, join the rest of your companions if you would like to, or you can lurk on the cliffside. That is your uh, prerogative as a bat. <laughs> Has Aurora made it to the top? Yes. Okay. Or I made it to wherever you guys are. Yeah, sure. To the, the ledge. Yeah, there. So are you going to go or? What What are you going to do? I'm going to jump up. I just wanted to make sure you all got across before I went. I'm not big on jumping or climbing. Well, I have a very important question. Uh-huh. How much do you weigh? Um, do I have a number? Hang on. 127 pounds. Works for me. <laughs> and you see his eyes turn like a dark blue color, and you like feel this cold like rage emanating off of him as he picks you up. And Nat 20 <laughs> hawks you <laughs> off the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, as he's standing screaming. on the top, Kisma just <laughs> <laughs> into the dirt up at the top of the cliff. I just lay there. <laughs> I press to digitate you. <laughs> you just lay there. Thanks. Welcome. A few moments later, he uh, climbs up the cliff side. Uh, the, as soon as he makes it to the top, you see that uh, bluish rage in his eyes sort of fade away. And Sorry about that. Thanks. It expedited the process, though, yes? Yeah, I didn't have to climb. You're, well, loophole. <laughs> um. Well, welcome, uh, welcome to Malmore. Mal, Mal, what? I feel like this is in character. Like, yeah. He's just, like, on the ground, like, yes. giggling. Saluting, like, yes. face down in the dirt. Uh, Malmore. Malmore. Like the That's eel. on the map that yes. we had before. Yeah. Why'd you name it after a bad eel? I, Is that a bad eel? Mal. Mal, as in bad. As, as in more. As in more basketball. Like a big pizza pie. That's a more. <laughs> I did not name it. Oh. Just he just lives, lives here. here. <laughs> Have you thought about renaming it? <laughs> I've got some good names. <laughs> Uh, how about it's the Vero really Tompkins <laughs> Tube of Fun? <laughs> tube? Tube. Caverns are like tubes. We're Every- not in a cavern. Yeah, we are. Uh, as you're, there's a, a tunnel leading through this way. Uh, and um, we call this Burial Sphincter. Wait. Rosfa leads the way through, and uh, as you guys step out, you see the village of Malmoray. <sighs> In the space, it is a large, sort of a natural uh, coliseum formation uh, with the ocean and sharp rocks down below. The village itself is half carved into the rock formations and half suspended by thick leather ropes, uh, which are dug into the rock side with heavy iron hooks. Uh, the village center, which juts out um, from the near the highest point of the cliffside, holds a massive wrought iron fire pit, whose ash falls down below to be carried away by the tide be- beneath. Uh, and as you approach, you can see several uh, younger minotaurs uh, leaping from a point about 50 feet above the water below. And... As they jump, they transform into large albatrosses or sleek black-blue sharks before they hit the waves and disappear underneath the caves. Um, Dornak leads you to the village center where there is a very large, shaggy, uh, white minotaur. Uh, She wears a long, sort of tattered-looking cloak uh, with tiny shells and bones embroidered into it, making this very intricate, swirling uh, design. And he introduces you all to Elder Krova. We came across these adventurers on the coastline. 
as we were dealing with the Cyclopses. Mm -hmm. They say they are here to search for something that was lost or taken from them or someone. We're retrieving it for a friend. They're on the side quest. Friend is a loose term. You're hey, loose. They're we're still cool enough. <laughs> Oh yeah, I was Do about to say is, it. Is she? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, Elder Krova turns and goes, Welcome to our village! Thank you. Thank you. Hello! Hi. Hello! Hello! Greetings! Oh, we're gonna have one of these again. <laughs> <laughs> Every old person. <laughs> nice to meet you. Welcome to Malmore. What brings you to the Shatter Bay? My feet! I already used that one. Side quest. Sorry. What do you seek? Truth. Wait. Love. No. Wait. Maybe you do. Two no. of the most dangerous prey. So the like most dangerous game? Yes. We're looking for you're hunting humans? Humans what? are easy. <laughs> and loose dragons. <laughs> now that's difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Chromatosphere. Yeah. No, kaleidoscope. Don't fix me on the name A. I, I'm <laughs> shushing for people asking for questions. I asking, asking for questions. Asking don't for see questions. any reason to not trust them. Uh, I do. They've been very kind to us. They could be the ones with the thing. They might be pirates. I'm still not convinced. You see, look, can she hear all? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She gives a healthy like. Uh, it's uh, a good thing we probably didn't Long name John it for a Long John Silver, Circa, Muppet Treasure Island. Pirates! <laughs> and all the pirates in the earth. I mean, <laughs> the Minotaurs <laughs> start <laughs> laughing <laughs> as they hide their cutlasses and eye patches behind their backs. No, we're, um... For real? No. <laughs> they seem to be a You're very, the DM, John. You're not allowed to joke. They seem to be a druidic order. We're looking for a telescope. A special telescope. Very good. What? It was on a boat. And? It's going fast. And? And now it's going nowhere. <laughs> well, it's somewhere. Yeah, it, we've lost it. It's either somewhere or it's become energy. It's a magical item. Fair enough. Um, I cannot speak to the exact location of said item. Ooh, ships... What? That wasn't enough information to go off of? Ships occasionally go down in the Shatter Bay. Um, if you are able to help us, perhaps we can help you find it. Many of our hunters here can turn into aquatic life and can help scour the uh, bay for the item you seek. We already have someone who's pretty good at swimming. I gesture at Aurora. Uh, yes, but how quickly can one search the ocean floor versus many? many? Certainly not quickly enough. Mm, I, I believe in you. <laughs> Wholeheartedly. What would you need from us um, help for this transaction? We have a spare claw, Brune. <laughs> I assume it's help against the Triton. You get Psychops a nice little bit of, like, no. western accent. Tritons, fish folk. Oh, oh, not Cyclops. Recently, a group of Tritons have migrated to the Shatter Bay and killed several of our hunters. If you would be willing and able to help end this dispute between us, we would be more than willing to aid you to find your telescope. Willing, sure, Abel. I don't know. I'll try. So I'm sorry. I did not catch a word you just said. <laughs> no? <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you need spaces between your words? Yes. Oh. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> I said I'm willing to, but I'm also very hurt. <laughs> um, we can help with that. Awesome! Uh, she beckons you to come forward. I, I do the thing where I like I go forward, but like do, glance do nervously I, back. Guy? Am I, I like I glance I'm back like, at everyone. No, no. Like I got called up in the middle of like class or yeah. something, and I'm like, 
for like goofing off in the back. <laughs> you don't know what's gonna happen when you get to the front of the class. I hope <laughs> uh, this is good. Yeah, uh, I walk she up. Pulls out a very large uh, sea urchin, uh, which looks like it's had these spikes ground off of it, uh, and she pops the top off and reaches a big thumb in and pulls out this like yellowish white like ah. <laughs> No, no, no. And she smears it across <laughs> your forehead. Simba. Uh, and you hear... I'm gonna be king! 18 points. Oh, but damn. It's a powerful sea urchin. And I turn around and bend over. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was now gonna... Now the healing can begin! <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna do that before you said it. Just like put it on my forehead. And I was like, <laughs> definitely oh, cancer. Oh, it's not oral. Okay, <laughs> try number two. That pill's far too large for me to swallow. <laughs> Don't <laughs> worry, it's a suppository. Um, it's analgesic, not analgesic. <laughs> <laughs> That was directed at her. <laughs> it's a joke from Scrubs. That was not my mm-hmm. joke. Mm-hmm. Um, Aurora's dead. Many of our clan claim her to start a war with these Tritons. I do not wish to rush into violence, so if you are able to find a more peaceful path. We're great That's at not... talking. We're so good at it. I'm going to say the chances of that are not that high, but we will sure try. <laughs> Well, I can't even promise that either. We're, we'll try. Maybe we'll challenge him to a drinking contest, Fenrir. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, some flip cup. <laughs> Underwater flip cup. <laughs> Takes I'd be forever. so good at it. You flip it and just like... A fish swims by. Bubble. You are welcome to... Stay in our village and eat our food and share our lodgings for the evening if you would like. Um, Thanks. There is more than enough um, warm beverage to get you through the evening as well if you wish to imbibe of the uh, very, I think you'll find, interesting liquor that we distill here. Why is it warm? Hmm? Why is it warm? <laughs> part of the brewing It's a suppository. <laughs> I know. It's a suppository. <laughs> I think I know what it is. Red I think Bull? it's fermented minotaur milk. At uh, Red Bull. <laughs> yeah, Red Bull. The White Bull? <laughs> um, I'm it's... just going to go to sleep. I'm too young for that anyway. Very good. No, you're, no, no. you're not. This is like England laws. It's like 14. <laughs> it's, old, it's, it's ye olden times. International cliffs. Yeah, but you can work, you can drink. I'm too young for this. I'm going to bed. Kismet is too young to work. That is true. <laughs> I've never seen Kismet work in their life. Kismet has <laughs> their perfect hands. <laughs> their perfect untouched hands. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Take off your lotion gloves. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to say it this time. <laughs> um, yeah, you can absolutely do that. Uh, yeah. One of the minotaurs sort of leads you away to one of the smaller coves. Uh, they have very thick hide hammocks. Hell yeah! Uh, set up. Uh, you can see that there are some uh, bones, like large uh, bones implemented into their uh, structures inside the caves to like help hold the hammocks up as well. Cool. Nice. I'm like Trevor. Don't, don't. <laughs> oh, sorry, so the minotaur me. that brings me, I'm like, do you have like a small bone that he could chew on? Let me check. They like walk out. A few minutes later, they come back with like a large, what looks to be like a large avian bone of mm-hmm. some kind, and they hold it out. Uh huh. I'm like, you can give it to him. He'll love you forever. Oh, okay. And they bend down and hand it to him, and Trevor grabs it and starts, like the <laughs> dachshund with the stick that's too big. And yes! Just trotting around in the room, getting it stuck up against things, mm-hmm. and just chomping away at it. Perfect. 
or anyone else. Hey, like John, did yes. I ever get a name of that druidic order that I came across when I was researching the dragon? You did not. Dang it. Okay. You could just did ask I... him. <laughs> did you ever deal what? with a dragon? <laughs> you ever get deal with a devil? Um, did I get any sort of indication as to where they were based? Um, not with this reading, but with a previous reading, you did read that they were initially from the Vale of Jund. Okay, cool. Um, what? I want to talk to the the one that's orange and shaggy and through Kismet. All right, uh, you would like to speak to Dornak? The real Red Bull. Yeah, <laughs> truly. Dornak. I'm surprised Roland hasn't tried to talk to the door more. So, Dornak. How yes. do they have doors? He's the door. Oh. It's like the rock, but he's the door. Dornak the door. Johnson is my name, yes. <laughs> Nick Knack. Come here. <laughs> no, he's not here right now. What can I do to help you? Uh, well, not much. Not so much help me. That was some, uh, some mighty feats of strength you did there. Throwing... Kids men up a cliff. Well, in their defense, they are very small. Yeah. Uh, so, I noticed most of the people around here are druids. Yes. Um, you yourself, are you as well? I have some druidic capabilities, but I'm not a full-fledged druid like my sister. I see. Uh, flex my arm at him. Was, it, was that an avian joke? Hmm? <coughs> Fully full fledged? No. No. Okay. <laughs> I, I flex at him a little bit, and I'm like, "Yeah, I'm a, I'm a bit of a brawler myself." Oh yes. Yeah. You know, uh, some people uh, once said that I was probably the strongest man alive. Did they? Yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, what credentials do you have to back that up besides hearsay? Uh, I don't know a hearsay, but uh, I don't know. You wanna you wanna arm wrestle? Sure. What it, is on the line? Uh, I don't know. What do you got? I'll match it. I got stuff. I got cool things in this sack and these boxes. Let's say. Loser buys the other a drink. Oh, okay, I guess if you want to be lame. <laughs> Very well. An arm wrestling contest and a drinking contest. Okay, well, I, I haven't drank in a while. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm hearing... Um, oh, sorry. Is that the wind or is it the excuse dragon flying by? It's, uh, it's, which is it? I'm, gonna, it I'm <laughs> going to kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> yeah. What sound does the extru- excuse dragon make as it flies past? <laughs> excuse! <laughs> excuse! Alright, let's Very arm well. wrestle Arm first. wrestle first, then. Yeah, let's get tired before we drink. That Excellent. sounds nice. Always a good d- decision. Also, you don't want to arm wrestle drunk. No, <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> um, he... Pulls up a table and sets uh, two very, uh, very crude looking, uh, they almost look like giant dried out sea cucumbers, uh, which have corks stuck in them. And then he throws up an arm onto the table. I lift up my arm with my other arm and I set (laughs) it on the table. (laughs) All right. Strength contest. Yeah. Best two out of three. Sure. All right. Bring it. Is it strength? Oh, fuck. One. Nat one. (laughs) You're in the middle of asking, is it a (laughs) strength? And straight down to the table. I wasn't ready. Oh, sorry. That excuse dragon must be flying overhead. (laughs) All right. All right. Let's do it again. Very good. I rage. Right. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Uh, worth it. Uh, it's just strength, right? Yeah. Fifteen. Seventeen. All right, this time it's a bit more of a struggle, and you manage to bring his arm down to the table. Worth it. And like, so you're stronger than you look. All right. And you see his eyes turn this, like, dark blue around the edges, and his, like, as it gl- gets closer to his pupils, it's like a pale, ghostly blue. Uh, under the... Uh, in order to keep my rage going, I must attack or be attacked. Yep. <laughs> so under the table, do I have a dagger? <laughs> Probably. Uh, I can help. Uh, no. You can just punch yourself. <laughs> yeah, you I'm just going to punch myself in the face <laughs> right, right in front of him. <laughs> Easy enough. Just <laughs> raises an eyebrow. <laughs> okay. I got this. All right. Yeah. 18. 24. Damn! <laughs> Brings it down. It's good contest, but he just gets the better of you and just poof, arm down to the table. He's like, <clears throat> not bad. Stronger than some in here in this tribe who call themselves warriors. Thanks. I don't call myself a warrior. I call myself the name my parents gave me, which is Dr. Virio Tompkins. This <laughs> name <laughs> you, Dr. <laughs> well, Doctor, nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you too, Dornak. Uh, so what about this drinking thing? He boonk, pops the cork off of it, and you can smell this foul, pungent liquor smell coming from inside. And he grabs one and takes a giant swig of it and says, Yours. What is it? Drink. <laughs> Is it poison? No. Well, <laughs> in a way. All right. Well, <laughs> I'll give it a shot. I take a drink. All right. As you take a drink, you're like at first, <clears throat> it's nasty. At first, it's like this sour milk taste. I knew it was. But <laughs> then it kind of levels off in a uh, rum chata way at the end. Gross. You. Go ahead and make a Constitution saving throw. Oh nope. Nine. <laughs> he fell as well, and he's like. You see, old man, this is how we do it here. Oh, well, I didn't know that you lived in Pansy Village. (laughs) (laughs) I'm very good at insults. Show you a pansy, and you both take another swig. Jesus, come on. He takes another one anyways. Ah, 15. All right, that does save. You see him take the swig out of his, and he's like looking a little bit loopy, like he's taking big mouthfuls of this. What and did you do? <laughs> what did they do to you? <laughs> what? It's, it's not great. He's just ingratiating himself with the locals. <laughs> I don't know. I thought I'd get in touch with another barbarian, but it turns out Gross. I'm just talking to a drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you a drunk old man. Alright. Third one. Oh, yeah, 21. 21, all right. He saved as well. He was like, <clears throat> okay. You may not be quite as muscly as me, and he, like, flexes. <laughs> uh-huh. But you can hold your liquor, and I respect that. And he plugs the gourd back up. So, what can I get for you? What do you want, man? You want, like, some cool... Minotaur shit. Is he wearing a shirt? Yeah. He I grab like a... him. I grab him by his lapel, and I put a finger right in his face, and I was like, "Are you a fucking pirate? You have to tell me." <laughs> I am not a pirate. Okay. We uh, <clears throat> see them from time to time along the northern coast between Ode Bay and the top of the uh, Snoop. The top of the snoot, yes. yes. Yeah. We like to avoid the Wyvern Isle for obvious reasons, but occasionally we see them. Oh, we almost killed a Wyvern on our way here. Did you? Yeah, I flew away because it was a pansy. I was wondering why your small friend was bloodied when I saw him. Yeah, he looks like that a lot, actually. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Sounds unlucky. Uh, I don't think that he's unlucky. <laughs> I just think that he... Uh, Purposely puts himself in situations. 
I once saw him stick his hooves in a hole repeatedly, <laughs> and it caused him pain every time. His hooves? Uh, yeah, he yeah, had hooves for a little Is he bit. A satyr? Uh, I don't know. More like satist. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that one. He, I say that joke. <laughs> say that joke. <laughs> well, it is an honor to know one of you is a drinker and a fighter, Virio Tompkins. Dr. Virio. Dr. Virio Tompkins. I didn't go to four years of school and then a couple more <laughs> to get my doctorate in barbarian studies to be called Mr. Virio Tompkins. I did not say Mr. Yeah, well, you, you, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> You're all right. You know that Ragnarok? <laughs> Dornak. Yeah, that's what I said. Close. Oh, fair. I see your point. All right, well, where am I sleeping? Because I need to go nap. He kind of uh, just gestures over to where you kind of saw Kismet being uh, led to bed. They just sort of have a large open uh, tunnel that leads back maybe like 45 feet. Uh, and it's just filled with hammocks. You said he turned to point? Mm-hmm. I am asleep when he turns back. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of like reaches into like his satchel and he pulls out like a cloak and kind of drapes it over you and pats you on the back. And he says, good night, sweet doctor. And he walks away. <laughs> I grab the cloak and I'm like, free cloak, and I get up and I run. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's much too big for you. <laughs> like it's got uh, like the shoulders where like it would uh, snap in the middle. Uh, is like two of you could stand side by side in it. Nice. <laughs> A giant cloak for later uh, sneaking into movie pranks. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna do something real fun later, gang. All right, that's all. And all I right. go to bed. Uh, Roland, Fenric, or Aurora, do, would any of you like to do anything, or would you like to go turn in? Um, I am very excited about my long rest. Okay. <laughs> you are able to uh, walk past uh, Kismet sleeping in their hammock. You see uh, on the floor, uh, Trevor is just gnawing away at this giant bone, it's wagging his tail as happily. It's probably bigger than him. Yeah, it's, it's longer than he is, for sure. He's very happy. And he's a mastiff puppy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, shortly after that... Fenric, you... I'll take the first two watches. Oh, all three? That's so nice of you. <laughs> <laughs> One of these days, Fenric. <laughs> I snore louder. <laughs> Can I click my long rest button? Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> Aurora's, Aurora's like, can I sleep? sleep? Can yes. I sleep? Um, Take a God. long rest. Jeez. Uh, Roland, where are you taking watch? So we're in like a like a cave system? Uh, it is a large, picture like a naturally rock-formed coliseum uh, with a village built along the inside of it. Uh, to the outside, to the north, lies the ocean. Uh, to the south is the mainland, and then east and west is kind of more continuation of that craggy beach. So we're are we in like huts or uh, what is were a, we given as as sleeping arrangements? Uh, they have hammocks hooked up in these uh, small tunnels that are dug out from the inside. Uh, the actual walkways and um, kind of parapets to look out into the. Uh, center area jut out uh, and they are made mainly of like looks to be thick planks of driftwood uh, and then they are secured by very thick leather cords which are dug into the interior of the cave itself Uh, there is an open sky above you okay um, I'll kind of tuck myself in a a corner um, where I have a a a good um, (laughs) Infinite sight quarters. lines on all of my companions. Kind of at the uh, entryway? Yeah. Okay, perfect. As you are uh, taking your first watch, Roland, uh, you can see that there are um, several uh, minotaur, gar- minotaur guards that walk past in the night. Um, some of them in their uh, minotaur form. Some of them you see shift into 
uh, large <clears throat> birds of prey. Uh, you see a hyena or two uh, walk past, uh, but they sort of, if they do notice you, they sort of just nod and continue on their patrol. Go ahead and make a perception I mean, check. I rolled a 24 stealth. Oh, okay. So probably not, but maybe. They're not actively looking for you within the uh, cave entries. Uh, go ahead and make your perception check for your watch. Uh, that's a... That's, that's an 8. It's about 1 p.m. Um, just with like Are the, you paying attention at all? Just with the firelight, there are some eh? braziers along the walkway, and mm-hmm. it's been a long day of walking on rocks and stuff. You you stay awake, but you certainly don't really notice anything interesting on your watch. Okay, uh, partway through, I'm just going to kind of start... Um... I'll take out a, a, a dagger and uh, what's the, is it like rocky ground? Um, beneath you it is wood. Uh, the wall behind you though would be stone. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna kind of absentmindedly start picking at the uh, the wood and um, just kind of I guess for a lack of a better term um, meditating on the information I've gained on on the this whole dragon thing, mm-hmm. um, maybe kind of sending some thoughts towards mask on you know guidance and anything like that. Okay. Um, go ahead and make a wisdom saving throw for me. A wisdom what? Saving throw. Good old natty one. All right, yeah, your time just sort of passes in most, mostly in silence. The wind kind of blows through the rock formations, and you can hear that in the back of your head. And below, you can still hear the water kind of gently lapping up against the rocks, but not a whole lot. Uh, the right, end of the um, four I'm, hours comes I, to I'm end. I'm gonna wake up Fenric like a half hour early. <laughs> good <laughs> just give him a, a good kick uh, that's a half hour of watch that's not going to be taken sorry <laughs> um so Frederick, you are oh. awoken by a boot to the butt in your hammock <laughs> your turn <laughs> <laughs> that was no. you have to ask first alright what time is it I checked my watch. <laughs> uh, it's roughly... Hair past a freckle. Okay, that's about usually when you wake <clears throat> me up. Roughly midnight. Did you take the, just the first one? Or mm-hmm. the first two? Oh. Okay. <laughs> first I, I would have taken the first two, so I'm waking him up like just... Oh, okay, you got the tail end of it. Okay, then it's four in the morning. Okay. All right, that uh, looks about right. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll get up and... Yeah, I stay awake. <laughs> <laughs> Constitution saving throw. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Are we? Are we all in the same room? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna sit. Are we all? Are all the hammocks connected? Um, as you walk down, there are like pillars every few feet or so. They're like just along the walls. Okay. Is my hammock creaky? Um, they all have a little bit of a creak to them. Uh, okay. they're, it's it's all held up with a combination of like large bone and like sure. uh, driftwood. So there's some a little bit of creak in all of them. Am I am I near Roland? Roland, did you get like sleep to the one the one next to mine? Uh, I've just taken out my um like a like a mat and just I'm sitting on that. Great. I'm gonna sit on my hammock and start swinging. <laughs> Okay. Just looking as around. It, uh, uh, as you're trying to meditate, Roland, you hear this. <laughs> just keep going. And I just, I look happy as can be, kicking my feet. 
after okay, so I do that like just like staring at Rollies just for like a, little a solid bit too. twelve minutes. <laughs> yes, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I'll just go wander in the middle and um, just take watch, and then near the end, do <coughs> calisthenic y stuff. All right, sparkle around your body, work like, out, yes. nice. comb your hair. Yeah, yeah, just like you know. Not work out, but like work out. Salute the sun. Yeah. Just get your swollen. Uh, yeah. Get your veins popping. <laughs> um, go ahead and make your perception check. Nine. Nine? Okay. Um, yeah. Nothing really catches your attention. It's still a bit chilly. Um, you can hear the wind blowing. You can hear the occasional bird making sounds in the distance as morning is approaching, but as you begin doing your uh, your body weight exercises, you see a few minotaur guards walk by and just give you like an approving nod, uh, continuing on their patrol, uh, and the sky turns a dull purple to a bright pink, and dawn has broken, and after we'll take a break. 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 Long rest! Boom, boom. Don't worry, I already pushed my long rest button, Wait, everybody. Did I not get a long rest if I went? Mm.
has come. Uh, that was that was subtweeting at someone. We all know who it was. Um, <clears throat> it's a much nicer day than it was yesterday. Uh, the sun seems to be shining. Um, you can see seagulls and albatross and terns all passing Arctic by. Arctic terns. Arctic terns. What are they doing here? This ain't the Arctic. A blue-footed booby or two. <laughs> Type of bird. Oh, yes, I'm aware. <laughs> no, it's just, no, it's D and D. It is what it sounds like. Was just <laughs> but I, 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 <laughs> so I saw it. to the word booby. Booby. <laughs> booby. You're eating breakfast, and one of the minotaurs is like, "That's a turn. That's a real fucking booby." <laughs> <laughs> I, I, my mouth is wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One time, I was I listening saw. to an audio book in middle school for like a book reading thing. And one of Eric, my brother's friends, like overheard me listening to it. And in the exact moment he was listening, the words were a booby. That's a funny name for a bird, a booby. And then they never, ever, ever let it go. That's all. That's cool my side word. note story. <laughs> it was something about the K Islands. Oh, thank goodness you didn't follow that with the same letter twice. <laughs> I was almost <laughs> expecting it too. Yeah. Why are they talking about blue-footed boobies? <laughs> They're against anything of color. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad, but <laughs> good. I know. <laughs> um, what would you guys like to do? Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Did I wake up, though? Wake up. You wanted to. Yeah, you did. I'm waiting to die of old age. <laughs> I wanted to. <laughs> I'm waiting to die of old age one of these times. Just <laughs> Every morning, can you just roll, here, huh? just roll a D100 and <laughs> see what happens? Um, if you roll a 69, you die. <laughs> you die, but in a cool way. <laughs> if you roll a 1, you just die. Yeah. <laughs> Spontaneous combustion. Ooh, that's 69. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because it's so hot. in flames. <laughs> <laughs> Like one glass of wine. So, <laughs> <laughs> and you're like falling apart. <laughs> so like right, right now, it's oh so god. Good. <laughs> I was like, when, okay, when he when he said the blue and the booby, so you're like just like staring daggers at me, and that's what made me laugh. And now you're just like waiting for your reaction. Yeah. Uh, so, good morning, everyone. I'm sure you're wondering how I acquired this wonderful cloak. It's just like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you! I didn't see you there with that magnificent cloak. There he has what ex- essentially looks like a like hide uh, hand glider, like fabric around his shoulders. I may have won this in a competition. I beat uh, Dornak in uh, some competition. And won this. This is mine now. You just said the same thing twice. Yep. I'm That's just cool. confirming the fact that I won. <laughs> To myself, I'm confirming it with me. Nice job. Thank you. If Dornak says anything otherwise, don't believe him. Except for the fact that he's not a pirate. These are not pirates. Or at least Dornak isn't. I think we've established that they're not pirates. Yeah, like just now. Didn't ago. you hear it? Oh. I don't know what they use their internet for. Got nothing. Yeah, that's all right. Let's keep going. <laughs> I'm asleep. Hey, who turned this poker stop into a Team Valor? Fuck you. I don't get it. Though. Internet joke. I can see. Can I do a strength check to see if I can just, like, push Kismet out of their uh, hammock? Absolutely. Like, flip it around? It, it took me a little bit to just parse what you said from, like, your accent. I was like, what? Wait, was that even remember. English? Very, it's very rounded in the back of the mouth. Um, I don't remember what my strength is. Hold on. Probably zero. No, I. Yeah, no, you're good. I'll help. You rock. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good. Good. So I'm pretty. I've just got Thanks. a four. <laughs> nope. Uh, no, actually, I got a three because it's negative one. one for sure. You guys just kind of gently rock because it's back and forth in their hammock. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Miriam, would you also like to help? No, why? <laughs> well, MCA. if you don't want to, could you still, could you still do it? Do what? 
help us wake up Kismet. Kismet, make a perception check with disadvantage. <laughs> more sleepy times. I rolled two 16s. Okay, so you can kind of, in your subconscious, hear this conversation happening directly over the top of you. Mm-hmm. I've got away. I, I say, no, let her sleep. Wink, 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 wink. Why are you saying wink? I am not. <laughs> That was out of my character voice. <laughs> no. Wink, wink. <laughs> um, I, I lean in really close to Kismet's uh, I cocoon. Cast, I cast Minor Illusion behind you guys, and it's my own voice being like, what are you guys doing? Oh, see, it's not even Kismet. Kismet's, it's <laughs> over. I start walking in that <laughs> direction. Where are you? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I you, lost I you, lost him. You confused the poor old man. <laughs> I wake I open my eyes very self satisfied. <laughs> Tim Green is like one point of geriatric damage. <laughs> I feel bad. <laughs> Get up to sixty nine of those and you die. My bones. My bones. Oh, we were just um discussing our plans for the day over you. Over your, over your over hammock. <laughs> Physically, over your hammock. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Over so your... what do you want to do today? I mean... Well, I think we should work on the Titans. Try, <laughs> try the Titans. Remembering them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Left side, strong side. We need to work on remembering the Titans. <laughs> You know, if we murder all the Tritons, it could be like the thing that people say. If you yeah. remember the Tritons. Remember the Tritons. Remember the Tritons. I, don't, I don't think that we should murder all the Tritons. I would agree with that. <laughs> well, that's your opinion. <laughs> I'm just going to throw that so out there. Genocide is out. It's a terrible idea, but you know, whatever. <laughs> oh, oh my god, god, I forgot Roland was here. <laughs> Roland's into it. We should not do that. We should not do that. Um, But I... Do you think that we can, you know, put our foot down with the Triton's behavior in the Shatter Valley, Shatter Bay? You're so good at this. We can give them a real good talking to. Mm-hmm. Maybe admonish them a little bit with a finger. Maybe they were driven out of somewhere. I mean, yeah, the Tritons are originally uh, a bit more. I know some of them are from the south of the, in the Frost Spine within the Vale of June. Um, mm-hmm. Well, that's. They're, they're probably it's pretty far not, away. They're probably not related though, because they're more like icy and less tropical. Mm-hmm. Um, like the penguins. You know, there's tropical penguins and there's icy penguins. Yeah, exactly. Tritons are like penguins. You should tell them that when we meet them. <laughs> so I are you the for tr- forty-five <laughs> seconds, and I came back to tritons are like penguins. <laughs> so <laughs> that's pretty great. I think that was the intention. Yeah. <laughs> So D and D is happening. I'm gonna start spreading. Out. Yeah, I can see <laughs> this. This is, what I do now. this is why I ask what degree I get. And this is my, this is my yeah. slice. It should be a three foot uh, segment in front of you. Um, which obviously decreases. So yes, we could um, attempt to confront them, find out what's going on, see why they're in this region. Yeah, or we could just fight them. Well, it doesn't, not to do that. it doesn't start there. It just might end up there. Yeah, sometimes we're just not good at talking. Who is not good at talking? I don't we're know. The shatter belly. Great. At it. Talk pretty to me. I wish I had a playback device. Let's let's all practice our introductions. Let's review the tape. Hi, I'm Fenric. <laughs> Hello, I'm Dr. Virio Tompkins. I think you're the only one with, like, a standard intro. Well, I mean, like, we gotta put a good foot forward. Okay, here's mine. What's up? That's pretty good. It shows that you are interested in their lives. It's good, but the eyes are sort of creepy. Hello, you <laughs> may have heard of me. My name is Aurora Salis. Well, I like it. I like the energy. I like it. Um, have they, though? They really They're trained. Probably not. Out. Well, you know, a lot of people do know my name. They may or may not, depending on their level of I'll introduce you, Roland. This is Roland Redacted from Redacted. <laughs> I I have a question that, to God. That's not really his last name, though, is it? 
We got our one of God's many fun NPCs, like Elder Crova, the grey mottled furred minotaur, or perhaps Dornak with his shaggy reddish fur. No, or Rosva. No, he I He doesn't talk much, but <laughs> I don't have any questions about Minotaurs. I have a general question. So I know of some some Tritons. Yes. Um, do I know the languages in which they speak? Make a nature check. Bubble. I'm not good at those. Nature. Nature. Oh, 15. 15? You would be aware that they aware aware that they speak. Um, the ones you've encountered at the very least uh, seem to be able to speak a language um, besides common called Aquan. Hey, Aurora, do you speak Aquan? I'm pretty sure that I don't. It's primordial. In ba- base. Oh. Um. It is not in, in my real. case. <laughs> yeah, I do speak primordial. I mean, that's a pretty good in. You could, like, talk to them in their own tongue. That's yeah, a- I do. I speak really good. Really good. Yeah, really, maybe really good. maybe we shouldn't. You're right. Is primordial, <laughs> <laughs> is primordial your native tongue? Yeah, maybe that's no. why she's so bad at talking. No, actually, no I'm much is my that. native tongue. Oh. <laughs> I know you wouldn't think that, seeing as I'm a water genasi, but... You uh, know? Didn't we know that your parents were gnomes, though? I mean, my you first owners were gnomes. I don't... I don't Did you just say that. owners? Yeah. You were a slave? Wait, why'd you say owners? That's a weird thing to say. Um, Usually we say parents. (laughs) (laughs) God damn it. I mean, they were my owners before they adopted me. Wait, you you were a slave? Yes. For many years. We're getting backstory, guys. I never knew this about. I've known you for like, I don't know, a year and a half. We were dead for year one year. Yeah. Man, I've been trying to learn this since like this morning. <laughs> um, well, we can start talking about something else now, like what we're going to do next. But, I, but this is more interesting. Yeah, it's good. I'm sorry. Are you uncomfortable? No. Oh, awesome. Uh, next time we're going to do this to Roland. <laughs> hey, Roland, what languages do you speak? Um, <clears throat> Elvish and Undercommon. Uh, checks out. <laughs> Only two? Elf and well, Underground as well. But <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> I only have half a ling. Half a ling? Half a language, yeah. Yep. <laughs> yes, thank you. Broken halfling. <laughs> Did you remove all the vowels? <laughs> it's I called speak. French. <laughs> <laughs> no, I that's speak. you put them all in. God, I speak Elvish and halfling. Do you really? Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh, coincidence. I speak common celestial goblin orc and Arocokra. <laughs> um, in the I also speak abyssal. If we ever need to talk to a demon, I got you. Okay. That's pretty neat. I guess, um, in the spirit of sharing, um, so that you can trust me more, even though I feel like you guys could probably trust me. Share, Um, share, share. Yes, I was in fact a slave. I love how we've returned back to this. For many years, um, with Kyrian, before we were able to build something of ourselves. So what you're saying is I should trust Kyrian and not give him such a hard time because of his lineage. So what you're saying is you and Kyrian are childhood friends trope. Yeah, that one too. (laughs) (laughs) Who's Kyrian's dad? What? That's a question I got. (laughs) It's backstory stuff. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Didn't answer the what at all. <laughs> um, he doesn't. We don't know. Uh, He's been checks a out. His whole life. I don't trust him. <laughs> Why are you worried about me, Hugo? You barely trust anyone. Yeah, but I trust you all uh, mostly. Oh, touching. I guess. Please don't. <laughs> 
back, <laughs> Rowan. Please no touch. Please don't. Yeah, please don't touch. <laughs> cool. Thanks Rowan. for sharing, Aurora. Yeah. Can we get back to? I feel so much closer to you now. I'm like standing <laughs> like a <laughs> foot right. away from you. Just... <laughs> I just like look down at him like <laughs> So So um yeah, How I, long <laughs> Tritons. Let's get back yeah, to Tritons. Let's get back to the Tritons. <laughs> so I don't know where they, they said at the top of the snoot kind of Do they live underwater? Good question. Thank you. Is um, I was new I was known for asking Door Door handle? Door knob? <laughs> <laughs> door knob would have been closer. I, yeah, I believe it's pronounced door knob. <laughs> um, is he like with us or near us? Um, if you guys are still Did in you the door. witness <laughs> that <all laughs> He's standing in the door with a tray of like coffees and stone mugs for you guys is like slowly backing out. Um, I mean, I think we should have door knack. With us um, to discuss some strategy plans, see what they had in mind. Um, they might not want to be with us if we want to try this, you know, talking approach. I don't know. If you ever forget his name, just remember Roland. He has a knack for doors. Oh, that's good. But his name is not Backdoor Knack, so. Hi, it's you... not quite as exciting. Wait, so are you just suggesting that we bring the enemy of the people we want to talk to with us? No, I was saying I want to see what their idea of what the solution would be versus what we're thinking about. Oh, doing. should we get both sides of the story? Um, yeah, yeah, like I said, they might have been driven off from somewhere and had to come here. Yeah. Maybe. Or should we just sneak off and not tell the... Yeah, oh, we, he's we, right there. <laughs> <laughs> is he, is he actually off. right there? No, he's not. Okay. No, okay. Um, <laughs> should we sneak off? Should we uh, talk to the what was the old lady's name? Did we introduce we introduced ourselves, right? Yeah, um, Elder Krulba. Elder Krul Kringle. Elder Krul Krug. Krulba. Elder Elder Krulba. Krukut. <laughs> Krova. Okay. Anyways. Krova. Even I can remember it, see? Um, maybe we should talk to talk to her about this. She seems knowledgeable on history. She of, said ha you know. she said hello like seven times. Yeah, I say hello a lot <laughs> that was, too. <laughs> I feel like that was also Virio's fault, so there's that. Fair. Let's let's uh go over to her hut area. Her house, her home, where she's, where she is. Uh, you are really, you're really losing my confidence in having <laughs> you talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> it has been declining. I'm like, remember when she owned a business? I think my long rest, like, it's almost like I slept too much. You know how sometimes <laughs> you, you can sleep too much? You got, full, you got 12 hours. Wait, how much <laughs> speaking did you do when you owned your first business, or did Kyrian do most of it? I did a lot of speaking. She was the muscle. I was the brains. The face. That doesn't mean anything about speaking. That means you did the books. I Nerd. did do the books. No, oh, she cooked them books, all right. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't have to cook them. We made a lot of money. Yeah, but then you also did some embezzling and shit, right? That's like why you went to jail. No, I went More to jail because I was selling weapons to everyone. More profiteering. And also, I never went to jail. They just wanted me. And then you died. Yeah. Got the death penalty, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Served it once. <laughs> Won't do it again. First well, time, huh? <laughs> what's the thing? Je double jeopardy. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get charged for the same crime twice. You served your sentence. Become a war profiteer again. <laughs> I mean, it is enticing, and it's very exciting work. I'm in the background, like... Did you hear about the guy that did that? Like... That He's profiteered off of war? Twice? Yes, yeah, twice. No, a guy thought he couldn't be charged twice, so after he was oh, acquitted, yeah. he sent a letter saying, Haha, I did it. You suck. Fuck off. That's new evidence. That's not... So it was kind of <laughs> as new evidence, and he was imprisoned. Sorry. Just thought that was... 
appropriate. Anyways, we're gonna talk to uh, Elder Crumble. <laughs> Crucible. Crova. <laughs> Elder Crova, yes. Crova, oh, Jesus Christ! Damn. I wrote down so many wrong words. <laughs> <laughs> cro, cro, cro. I it definitely. I thought it was like cro, crula. C R O V A. Crowbar. V A. There's no L at the end. Crova nope. is not Crova. that difficult to pronounce. Crova. Crowbar. Got it. <laughs> uh, you guys are easily able to find her. Uh, she is slow and old. A, uh, large. A large group of minotaurs are eating their breakfast, and she is among them. Uh, by the large uh, cistern, not cistern, um, fire pit in the center of the uh, village. As you approach, she nods politely as you come near. Hello, how did you find your sleep? You found in the so hammock. Much sleep. You and these literal jokes are going to oh, get you in trouble no. one day, young man. Probably you later today. That, you say that like they haven't already. Mm, fair enough. <laughs> he also enjoys practical humor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Slapstick. Yeah. yeah. You know, a good old butt joke, you know, all of the above. Who doesn't love a butt joke? <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah, butt jokes are the funniest jokes. <laughs> Come on, guys. What can I do for you? <laughs> I don't think she has a butt. It's a very <laughs> tender subject. Um, I love butts and jokes about them because I have one too. <laughs> <laughs> butts are often very tender, so there is that. Um, we were, um, we've decided that we do want to help you with your Triton issue in uh, exchange for some help searching the ocean floor. Oh, excellent. Um, but we wanted to come to you for sort of the backstory of what's happened thus far and what your history with the Tritons are, if there's any, um, just any information could be helpful to us. Um, well, uh, it was probably three weeks to a month or so ago, um, the first altercation we had with them, um, our hunters were out in the open part of the bay scouring the floor for crabs and uh, other uh, food to bring back to the village and um, <clears throat> we were attacked by a large group of them uh, some sharks only one of our hunters got away uh, one of the young ones but uh, they said that they tore into the into the Minotaur, uh, druids who were scouring the base of the ocean and uh, killed them all. They didn't even seem to wish to take the items they had had gathered with them. They just killed them and then left the bodies. That seems so... Barbaric! <clears throat> well, we've done a little bit of reconnaissance on them as we can. They're very obviously well equipped to travel in the open water. Um, and we tracked them back to the cracked grotto. One of our warriors was able to speak to them and as they uh, were conversing, the Tritons denied any knowledge of it. So we have basically settled in to defend ourselves. The hunting parties have grown larger. The groups, when they go out anywhere into the open water, um, are basically prepped for war instead of hunting. Mm. That just seems, um, like it almost seems like they were enchanted or something. That could be. Like that, versus... Um, I wouldn't rule it out. Or driven mad. That could also be. We don't know much know about them. About We've never encountered them before in mad. the history of the village. Um, what are your thoughts on um, starting with a, I don't know, more, um, a less aggressive approach and having us talk to them to see what might have occurred? Um, that would 
be an excellent option in my opinion. You are a neutral group of non-minotaurs. You don't know my alignment? <laughs> At least as far as this specific conflict goes. Uh, I'm like one eighth minotaur. Are you? No shit. You don't know. <laughs> Gross. <coughs> um, it's the hooks. That would be an excellent, uh, an excellent uh, option um, if you can find some common ground with them. But like I said, I don't wish to go to open war. That don't want to see my people die for no reason. But we're okay, right? To die, that's fine. Well, that's why I'd rather have you open with peaceful talk. Um, if it comes to blows, then we'll obviously come to help you as it's our fight, not yours. Um, do you have any gifts we could give them in good faith? The some good memes? On the screen earlier. We have some food and provisions we could offer, but we live fairly simply here. We have some more of this healing salve that I carry with me. That might be better. Provide a few of those. It's scarce, but it could be... Something. Oh, we can we tell them it goes in the butt. <laughs> I mean, it would still heal them, I think. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it goes into the bloodstream faster. <laughs> <laughs> it gives you for 68. <laughs> um. Yeah, I. Had I, you had. Had you um, had any peaceful interactions with these Tritons before? The the only interaction we had with them that did not end in outright bloodshed was when one of our one of our hunters stood and accused the Tritons of their actions to their faces and they denied it. Um, both of the parties backed away, but apart from that, whenever we run into them, they they've seemed to either flee or attack all the members of the tribe that are out in the water. And how many attacks have there been? At least a dozen now. Oh my, you Okay. And your people aren't, aren't the ones to initiate um, the uh, altercations. It's, it's always the, the, uh, the Tritons that are uh, beginning these fights. From what my people have told me, it has always been us keeping the defense, but if we are attacked, we defend ourselves. And I trust, I trust my people that they are telling the truth. I don't think that they would act actively go out and start a war with the Tritons. Uh, we are not... Um, a very battle-hungry people. We hunt and we fish and we gather food, but apart from that, we really aren't out seeking battle. The only time we send out warriors, like a Dornak, is when we have a domestic uh, dispute that needs to be dealt with, or if the harpies are expanding their, their flocks out too close to Malmoray. The occasional wyvern hunt for a rite of passage, but other than that, we keep to ourselves. We hunted a wyvern? Did we, we kind pass of, your You were hunted <laughs> by a wyvern. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was all bloody from a wyvern. Am I a man now? Yes. Am I a man now? <laughs> You've been a man all along. And she pats your head. <laughs> oh, thank you! <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Here we go again. But, yeah. Well, that's all very valuable information. I, um, I don't know that we... Uh, I, I feel bad about taking your healing salve because it, you don't, as you said, you don't have a lot of it. You but could always try to open talks first and see where it goes from there. I, I guess. Maybe just one. We could we just take one. one? You don't need any more than that. I guess. She nods and she sends one of her 
uh, bodyguards out, and they return shortly thereafter with a, a sea urchin of the same uh, description as the one she had the day before. She hands it over to you and says, Now that does three uses of 3 d healing in there, so tell them to use it sparingly. Oh, okay. I don't... Will you add it? Yeah, Okay. Sure. <laughs> Three uses, three D eight. Uh, it's it's three of the uh, whatever that ointment is. Occamens ointment. Yeah. Okay. I'll just add Occamens ointment. Okay. Perfect. All right. Well, I promise I won't sell this. I wink. That's a weird I thing take to it say. from <laughs> I wink. I take it from him and put it into my fanny pack. Add okay. it to your inventory. Yeah, I will. <laughs> perfect. Occamens ointment. Yeah. All right. Well, um, does anyone have any other questions before we were to go and find the Tritons to talk? Um. Oh, let me think. Do you have any boats? No. If mm-hmm. you wished, we could expedite your travel that way. Um, Rosfa should be able to take you fairly quickly if you would like. Yeah. Um, I think that would be very helpful. Very good. It's neither of the ointments that show up. Do we know where we're going, like, oh, on the, the map? One. Uh, the Cracked oh, Grotto, oh, which is, you guys are Whatever. in Malmoray, yeah, um, in the center. Uh, the Cracked Grotto is up to the northeast, uh, straight north of uh, where you guys initially came to the Shatter Bay. So which ointment? Perfect. Figure we were close to a rest. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm ready when the rest of you are. Because oh. then I can't complain. I'm ready. Very good. Rosfa. Uh, she stands up and drains the last of whatever she's drinking and beckons you over to her. All right. What do you want? Are you looking? And she turns and starts walking away. <laughs> Oh, yeah, what? Are we going? You, want, you want me to follow you? What did you do? Just to you? Do to who? The Minotaurs. I didn't do anything to them. You, I, I, I put a cloak around their neck. This, this Minotaur. I put the cloak. I don't want the cloak anymore. Take it back. She kind of like reaches up and takes it and just sort of lays it over like a railing <laughs> <laughs> and keeps walking. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm deleting my cloak for a big man. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's the signal of start a war in some cultures. <laughs> Throw down a cloak. Rejecting the gift of a cloak. <laughs> Does she want us to follow her or is she just like done she, with our conversation? She beckoned you and then I turned around and started walking away. I think she okay. wants to fight. I'll follow, <laughs> Bring I'll follow it. her. <laughs> Um, so as you guys follow her, she leads you through one of the narrow tunnel caves, and as you come out the tunnel, you are on the top of the formation surrounding Malmoray, and there is a single, um, very, very weathered looking, uh, silvery ashen tree, um, and she (coughs) puts a hand on it. And she looks at all of you and goes, Three, two, one. And she splits the tree open and goes, What do you want? Oh, I run through it. I run through it as well. Okay. I run through it. Just as it begins to roll, and I'm assuming you're running through. <laughs> he nodded. Okay. He also can't see you. <laughs> Sorry, she did the she did the uh, transportation via druidic tree splitting thing. Also, all of our listeners can't see you either. Sorry, she split the tree open with her palms as she did the countdown. Um, as you all step through, you are standing in a 
very verdant green swamp. <gasps> um, uh, the coast is within sight. And uh, up ahead to the north uh, west slightly, you can see a small waterfall kind of trickling down from the short, much shorter rock formations on the north side of the uh, bay. Mm, I like uh, that boulder. That's a nice boulder. <laughs> um, and on the shores, uh, you see the following. Nope, wrong way. Here? What? Cool. You see a bloodbath ensuing. Two groups of similar yet different looking creatures are locked in combat. Uh, nearer the shore, you see Virio, which you would recognize as a triton. Uh, they seem to be, the group of them seems to be in retreat. Um, and standing in the shallows of the water, you see several tritons, but where the tritons have more gentle humanoid features, the other group has shark-like features. Um, black eyes, sharp teeth protruding from gums that like protrude up out of their mouths, and they are tearing into the group of tritons. What would you all like to do? Oh, shit. Does anybody know which... I mean, looks like the, the shark ones are probably bad. Is that racist? Uh, maybe. Well, is it wrong? Uh, maybe a little bit. Maybe we could just yell and say which one of you guys are the good ones. Mm -hmm. Hey, all you knock that off. Um, let me get their figures out here. Uh, so my question is, do we see a problem with the Tritons being removed? Yes. Is that the first time you said something like that, or did I have a dream about that? <laughs> I think he's maybe used the word removed before. Removed, is, are we yes. okay with Group X being killed yes. by somebody else? Okay. He said that exact I'm, thing with a I'm different group sure other than Tritons. Okay, because <laughs> I, like, I was like... Did I imagine this? No, that's like once a month. Okay. Yeah, yeah. especially when we had when we were tasked to remove people from the council. He said that's remove a lot. That's just something that I say as like Sam. So. <laughs> also, this map is amazing. Right. This one was just a. This, this one is just a drone. <laughs> um, oh, is it? Yeah. Are that makes sense. Are we doing four squares again for the? For our base. Um, yeah. Yeah. Four square and seven turns ago. Thank you. So there, with their back to you, fighting as they retreat is one. Augie? It's yep. Augie. Hey guys. Guys, I've done it again. <laughs> oh shit. Oh no. Oh, oh beans. Oh, Don't beans. put my foot right in it. <laughs> I've been enlisted. I can't go five minutes without. Oh, sorry, Sam. All right, so. I keep telling them I'm not a shark person. I'm a dragon person. <laughs> there are. Shark bait. Wow. Do, 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 do. For all intents and purposes, these guys are all the same uh, type of creature. Uh, there are four smaller of these more shark-like tritons attacking, and behind them you see one dressed in more uh, elaborate robes and vestments as opposed to the uh, light armor that these ones are wearing. Then the two tritons, which seem to be in full retreat. Um, one of them has a long bow, the other a long-bladed sword. The guy behind the sharks is sharky. Uh, these guys are all the shark folk. This yeah. one is dressed in like rich vestments okay. and robes. Uh, he's a, he's a these shark two in are white stuff. Yeah, these two are, are these five are all shark folks. Then these two are what Virio would be able to recognize as a triton. 
One of them wears heavier uh, scaled armor. Uh, they have bright blue skin. Uh, the other has more like goldfish uh, tone to them. Uh, and they are wearing like a light uh, leather uh, jerkin. They know how to dress for their palettes. Sue. So, I too when, am blue. When they're, when they're born, they get a uh, color palette that, that they have to <laughs> hold to for life. You are an autumn. We're all born with a palette. Oh. So are we taking sides? Which sides are we taking? I got the left. <laughs> um. <laughs> I just wanted like to see Sam sigh like that. That was so good. Does it look like um I don't know how to exactly word it. Are the shark people being like aggressive? The aggressors. Are the shark oh, people oh, mean? No, like <laughs> not like aggressive, but like Brutal, almost. You said they were tearing into them, like, with mouths. Kind of like, like it's clearly like, are they attacking beyond like <coughs> defense, surrender, and stuff? Go and make a perception check. Yeah. I would like to also make a perception check on this. I just, I'm curious to see if this is like a defensive battle or who the aggressor is. Sure. And um, in. Between this fight. It's a hot While three. they're doing that, I would like to uh, run okay. to the side and hide. Okay. <laughs> do, 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 do. Roland's good way back there, actually. All right. Um, with a 17, Aurora, uh, yeah. looking into the somewhat murky water with the waves crashing, uh, you can see that the... Triton side has taken quite a few casualties. You can see six or seven of them just laying uh, face down in the water. Okay. Um, and it looks like large like bites have been just ripped out of their necks and shoulders. Um, however, it does not seem like the advancing group is showing any intention of stopping. Okay. So, to answer Kismet's question, yes. They seem to almost be in a blood frenzy. The shark people. Yes. I got sense. a hot three. If, if you uh, will. Uh, it's a fight. There's a fight, and it's happening. Alright. I'm going to... S the. Do the shark people have a name? Like, would I know what the shark, shark people are? Now that you're looking at them, sure. You can go ahead and make a nature check for me. Okay. <laughs> Does they have a name tag on? Well, not... Bill. Yeah, like, a name for their race. I understand. Besides but shark like, people. Um, so Ubapa do. Nine. Plus four. So 13. 13. Uh, you would recognize this maybe from some schooling you received, um, just about like things that reside in the ocean, it being a possible side interest of yours, given your lineage. Mm -hmm. uh, these are a cousin of the Triton called Sahagui. All right. Sahagui. So does my sanguine blade do extra damage? So I'm going to turn and yell. <laughs> the, for that age. the shark people are the aggressors. No. All right. Well. Uh, the the uh, tritons are defending themselves. That's what I'll say. I think we should help them. All right. Sounds good to me. All right. Let's go. You said that the Tritons have more have gentler, more humanoid features. They seem like face wise, is it like humanoid? Yes. Okay. They they seem like they can replicate similar expressions that the rest of they you have are sharp teeth too. Uh their backs to you, hard to tell. Okay. <laughs> um as soon as I can show you what a Sahagin looks like. As soon as Aurora's like Oh yeah. Gross. Yeah. Um, as soon as Aurora says maybe we should help them, uh, I'm like, okay, sure. And I activate my wings of flying. All right. Come on. <coughs> Come on. Hummingbird wings, they're just going a mile a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Roll for initiative. Yeah. Oh no! I missed. I rolled my nat one. 
I rolled my nat two. Wow. I did worse than the nat one. I got a nat two. I also didn't do hot. Yeah, I didn't either. It's going to be what great. What the fuck? Right. 20 or higher. 15. Wait. Ah, oh, roll 21. it. 21. All right. So, roll one. I should have ran a hit, I guess. <laughs> That's uh, 15 to 20. That's everybody there. Uh, 10 to 15. 10. Oh, okay. All right. The rocks are slippery. What do you want from rocks us? rocks are slippery. You had a heavy breakfast. Uh, 5 to 10? 7. Oh, oh, 5 to 10. Sorry. Nope. Okay. Lower than that. All right. Fine, you want to hit me up? Zero to five. Four. 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 You got a nat one? Yeah. What flavor of delicious yeah. claw brew would you enjoy? So Laura, then Is there any better. orange ones left? Yep. Can you bring me a purple one, please? Oh, there's two purples. The blue purple. Not the cran grape. Right. The other one? Yes. The blueberry passion fruit. What so, do you expect here? I don't know. Help. <laughs> Thank you. She's sitting next to you. I'm gonna try a cranberry grape. Clarbrune. Clarbrune. You sure do have a lot of delicious flavors available. Perhaps you could sponsor us into talking more about them. Cherry lime, strawberry I wish, guava. I wish I had a clarbrune. Oh. I'm not really a big fan of your peach, though. That one's a little. <laughs> Uh, all right, Roland is up first, was followed by joke? the Sahagin. Oh, the one is too much. Sahagin. Um, how far away uh, or am I within 120 feet of Ooh. the Robid dude? Yes. Okay. What about 60? I was looking at the wrong spell. Ah. Um, um, are these four squares? Sixty. Um, I don't think you're quite. You can move up a little bit, but then you would be sixty. Okay. Um, yeah, I'd like to drop uh, fairy fire, um, hitting the guy in the robes, and if I can, so it's a it's a twenty foot cube. If I can hit either of the two. That are in front of him. Uh, you would be able to hit the one directly in front and them. Okay. Yeah. So I'd like to drop fairy fire on both of them, and then um, I'll move back in the cover and hide again. All right. So that's a um, dex save for them. Yep. Two dex saves. All right. First for the soldier. That is. A nine, so no. Then for the priestess. Oh, the priestess. No. Also no. All right, they are both fairy fired. Awesome. And uh, I'm concentrating, and I only rolled a ten on stealth. Okay, perfect. Like, scoot you down to this little cove here. Concentration. I'm done. All right. Next up are the bad boys. Uh, seeing you all approach, um, this one is going to move up into melee there. This one is going to okay to melee there. They are both going to attack as they stab forward with their ooh, both hit. stab forward with their spears and just catch both of them in the guts with their. Barbed hooked spears. Barbed hooks. Um, got to be the barbed hooks. The rest of them are going to advance forward. Um, Roland, two of them are going to throw spears at you. Oh, little squares. Um, just 
one, but I can't remember what was on the same page. Uh, they hurl their spears forward, and they just clatter on the rocks around you, missing completely. Then the priestess is going to... Cast spiritual weapon. Next to you, Roland. Nice toss. And attack with it. So, how many squares are the little squares? I'm just doing like five foot advancements for each. So, instead of the squares being the center, use the dot in the center as the. So, like, if I want to move five feet, it would just be like. One grid forward. Yep, that's still okay. five. Got it. Use the center of the four piece square as your indicator. So one, two, three, four. Got it. So it's the little squares, kind yeah. of. Yeah. Yeah, in a way. It's slightly larger scale that way. Um, what? Roland, what's your AC currently? 15. All right, 17 will hit then. Um, I'm going to cast shield. All right. You burn your reaction, and this shield appears in front of you. The spectral trident in front of you stabs down and boing, bounces off the shield, uh, and that will do it for them. Uh, next up is Virio, followed by Kismet. All right. Sounds good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to move up by this boy because he's close to me. Um, maybe. Oh, can I reach them? So five. Oh, yeah, I can get to them. Sweet deal. We'll start with you, then. Oh, five. Ten. Am I? Yeah, that's ten foot. I'm ten feet away. Yep. Sweet. I'm going to rage. Right. Mario rages. Ah, with my, I flew there, too, so that was pretty cool. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you... <laughs> just fly out over the top of these waves crashing up against the rock and are you hovering above the water oh uh, yeah I was worried it's gonna be difficult terrain or something sure so, um, yeah and I'm going to attack recklessly all right Ta uh, that's a uh, 19 to hit that is a hit sweet Uh, I do 15 points of damage. Yeah. Uh, so? Stab down from the air with your health, like a fucking like Michael the Archangel pose as you fly over the top, and it just impales into their chest. Uh, and this, this red, dark blood starts spurting from their chest cavity. That, that hit rocked them pretty good. Nice. Take that. It just <laughs> fucking barbarian out. punches the shit out of you, and it's like <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, anything else for you? Uh, no, that's my turn. All right, Kismet, you are up next, followed by the Tritons. Um. Okay, I'm going to kind of like. Step behind <laughs> Fenric a little bit. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. And then uh, I'm going to cast Firebolt at the the Priestess. All right. That's, that is fairy fire outcome, right? Yep. So advantage. advantage. Yep. So you take a couple of steps over to Fenric and then with your fire. Yep. Uh, 21. That is a hit. Okay. Nine points of fire damage. Nine points, all right. Crashes into her vestments. They're wet, but like you can hear like the sizzling water off, burning off as she like tries to put the fire out when it hits. Um, all right, next up is the Tritons. The one with the long bow is going to fire at the one directly in front of his cohort. And it is a hit. Dealing seven points of damage, and then the one aligned in front of it is going to take us 
just spinning slash forward with its long sword, but misses. Gross. Uh, next up is Aurora, followed by Fenric. All right, I am going to um, I think I want to come up more towards where these two guys are closer to where I'm sitting. Um, and I can move 30 feet closer to them. Get you over by, like, Roland? Yeah. Okay. Over by Roland. So I want to move over there. And then I'm going to, um... Spells are kind of funny in here. Um... I don't think I'm going to use a spell though right away. Um, I'm going to shoot an arrow at the fairy fired royal guy, royal robes man. The priestess over here? Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to shoot an arrow at him with my crossbow. Okay, yep. 60 feet is range on that? Um, 80 feet. Okay, you're good. Range on that. Um, and I just rolled a 23. 23, all right. That is a hit. Okay. Wow, we're actually connecting. <laughs> I feel like we're connecting. <laughs> okay, I only did five points of damage. All right, that's still pretty good. Okay. The fairy fire doesn't do anything, right? Nope. Okay. Or so it just, just gives you advantage just on the gives you advantage. Oh, I didn't roll it with roll advantage. Roll it with yeah, if you get a nat 20. No, I didn't. Okay, oh. that's fine. Okay, that brings us to Fenric. Then back to the top with Roland. Am I able to just glance at the Tritons to see if either of them are bloodied? Um, Will it take cost anything for me? Just off the perception check, and like now that you guys have observed like a round of combat, I'll give you this. They are both very uh, kind of look like they've been sort of gashed away here and there. Like they both look like they've gotten stabbed. They both have like some light bite marks in the exposed parts of their bodies, uh, so they are bleeding. Okay. Then I will move. Would you mind moving me forward? Mm-hmm. Yeah, go 25. Just go like straight forward up just to the right of the, the guy with the shield there. You can get that close. Um, yeah. All right, I'm going to dash. Go all the way up next to him then. Okay. All right. A little, bit, a little more forward. But yeah, just like right, right all up in this space. Side. Okay. And then I'm going to cast Shield of Faith on the guy with the shield. Okay, all right. Shield of Faith. Uh, this is a bonus action, and uh, that's it for me. It's plus two to their AC. Correct. All right. Yeah. And that is concentrating for you? Yep. All right. So this um, I don't think there is one, is there? Shield of Faith? Should be? I don't know, we'll make a lot of noise here. Right, just, that's just fine. give me a quick... We've got to resort these out anyways, because I just chucked them all into the thing. Um, yeah, you keep going. How dare you, John? I know. Uh, but we are back at the top with Roland. Oh, shit, that's what I was going to do. Um, are, am I or the priestess in direct sunlight? Yes, both of you are. Okay. Um, I'll take a uh, regular crossbow shot at... All right. That's uh, an 11 to hit. An 11 just whizzes by and splashes into the waves behind her. Okay. Um, I will disengage from her um, spiritual weapon. Okay. And Oh, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, it does, does not get attack of op. Oh, right. Okay. Then I'll just... I'll, Break line of sight. Uh, are there like is there like a rock I can hide behind or something? Uh, if you moved back about fifteen feet, you kind of duck into one of the crags behind you here. You're gonna get wet though. I will do that. Eh. Oh well. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll do that and then bonus action hide. All right. Perfect. <laughs> that is dirty twenty. All right. Excellent. Um, that brings us up to the baddies. Um, Aurora, the spiritual weapon directly in where Roland was, is going to move over to you mm. and is going to attack. Oh, you didn't activate your blade singing. Oh, I forgot! Oh, 
Oh no! Um, Art! 17 hit, I assume. Yeah, it would hit even if I had blazing. Okay. Which makes me feel a little better. So I forgot to do it. Take, uh, 12 points of bludgeoning or piercing damage from this spectral trident in front of you as it jabs down and kind of catches you in the clavicle. Um, 12 points? 12 points. Oh shoot, I don't think I've ever taken damage on this thing before. You put the number in? Oh. In the top right? I see it. Then you hit damage. Press damage. Um, Seeing you arrive, Virio, the Sahagwin in front of you is going to step up and attack with its trident. It gets advantage, because I did the thing. Oh, reckless? Yeah, I reckless. Um... Okay, so it's going to stab at you and then it's going to bite you. The stab is an 18 plus yeah. some, okay. So that will be. Oh, that has a low battery for some reason. <laughs> uh, the spear as it jabs into you and you're raging uh, deals uh, uh, two points of damage reduced to one. <laughs> The iPad is done. Oh, okay. Yeah, and the charger's not working. I'm dying. <laughs> Don't send me back to the negative zone. It could just be done. This is the comedy police. That joke no. was too funny. I'm not going back to jail. Okay, we're charging now. Um, okay. I don't understand why do that. Yeah, I know. They're you shitty. think it would work both ways. I'm alive! <laughs> because oh, you're at 8%. You're alive, technically. Uh, then Virio is going to... How, how much damage did I take? Uh, two points reduced to one because you're raging. Oh, was that from the bite? Yeah. Nom nom. So we like... Oh, that was the spear, sorry. What was the bite? The bite is coming now! <laughs> it's a miss. Make an advantage because of my oh, yep. thing. Correct, correct. Still no. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, they chomp for and they just can't find any purchase in your uh, your leather armor that you wear. Or is it leather? Or? Uh, I, I can't remember. Whatever it is. The armor that you're wearing, they just cannot get through it as they try to chomp down on your shoulder. It's a chain shirt. Um, Fenric? Yes. The Sahagwin in front of you. Nat 20, you say? Uh, stabs at you with its spear, and then you hear it say something. Uh, it's a, an 18 to hit. Uh, no. All right, so it stabs forward, and its spear just ricochets off your shield as you raise it up to defend yourself. And then charging up from behind it, a shark appears in the shallows, and it goes to take a bite of you. Another shark? No, no, no. A shark a shark. 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 A proper shark. Oh my gosh. How, uh, how? 19. Yeah, 19. Right. Ty goes to the attacker? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think I'd remember that one. So yeah, Ty goes to the roller. So, like, yeah, if you're to okay. get a saving throw and you tie, you still beat it. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, it is six points of piercing damage. Okay. Is it just this small, fast little shark just jets up through the murk, leaps out, and bites onto your leg? Um. That is it for him. And the last one is going to hurl a spear at Aurora. Of course. Uh, 14 to hit. Yes. All right. Oh, I should have activated blade psychic. Two points of piercing damage. Okay, because that's a terrible. I'm just dealing minimum damage with these guys. Um, that will bring us to Virio. Ah! Followed by what's, what's the concentration saving roll? Uh, make what's, a, the, what's the AC? Con save. How much damage did I say it did? Six. Six. Um, so I think we just have to roll a ten. I think. Yeah, a ten. What? How does that calculate it? Um, if it's below ten, you just have to roll a ten. If it's above that, then you have to like match the match, match that. it or. Oh, so I, I couldn't roll with the six. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm still concentrating. Okay. Sweet. Uh, it's the first time I've taken under ten damage. I think with a hit. <laughs> I know. I felt wrong saying it. <laughs> You missed a teen. I was I gonna roll. There. I was gonna like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna fly around this guy. All right. Five. Ten. Eight. 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 Eight.
a cool wing strafing movement. All right, I'm gonna get all the way over here and use all my movement to move around, I guess. Okay. And then I'm going to attack it. Reckless Lake. All right. Ah! Oh no, neither hit. Uh, I'm using my inspiration. All right. That I saved a long time ago. One more roll, baby. Oh yeah, that's 16 plus change. Yes. Oh, take this, you salty dog. Oh snap, that's almost max damage. Uh, that is 17 points of. No, yeah, yeah, no, 17 points of damage. I agree. So you swoop around the surface of the water with the waves crashing beneath you. You just lunge forward and catch this thing in the back, and it just sticks out the chest, and it falls to the ground. Nice. I mean, oh god, I'm so sorry. I slipped. <laughs> Um, anything Oops. else, Virio? No, that is all. All right, Kismet, you are up next, followed by the Tritons, then Aurora. Um, I'm going to shoot another fireball to the priestess. All right. Uh, 20 total. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Ten fire damage. Very Max nice. damage. All right, she's looking pretty beat up. That's it for me. All right, so this fireball just flies forward again. It just catches her this time in like the center of the chest, and like the face is kind of getting singed up as it crackles into her chest cavity. Um. Yep. As the priestess is the one in the special robes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I am going to. Tritons are up next. Sorry, then you. Oh, sorry. I I said two out in advance. <sighs> sorry. Um, that's okay. It'll be quick. The one is going to attack. The one with the sword is going to stab forward. I carried him down the stairs. Double miss. Um, then the. One with the bow is going to fire at the one directly in front of its comrade again, with advantage. That is going to hit. Wait, who did what? Oh, never mind. Uh, allies. Um, and it is going to deal. All right, it pulls back this long curved bow and releases the arrow and it just flies forward. And this Sahagun drops into the water, dead. Yes. Next up is Aurora, followed by Fenric. All right, now, since it's my turn... Me, Aurora. I am going to um, activate Blade Singing. All right. Bonus action Blade Singing. Mm -hmm. And then, um, if I move away from the spiritual weapon, does it take an opportunity No, it's not come off from spiritual weapon. No. Okay, so I want to move away from that thing. All right. Um... Move him towards me this way. Just um, kind of on the other side of Roland, probably. Just so I get far away enough. And then I'm going to shoot another crossbow attack at um, the priestess. All right. And that's with advantage. Yeah. Yes. This is very fair. Um, and that's going to be just in rage. <laughs> dirty 20. Oh, my just in rage. Just in rage. You're good, though. 80. Uh -huh. Yep. With 80? Okay, so uh, dirty 20. All right, that is a hit. Okay. Um, and that's going to be six damage. Fire your bolt forward, it flies across, and she's Great. in the middle of like just putting out Kismet's fire damage on her clothing and <laughs> catches her, and she just falls backward uh, into the water. Yes! Did. Um. All right. Anything else, Aurora? Uh, nope. That should be it. All right, Fenric, you are up, followed by Roland. Uh, what happened to the shark? Uh, it is still in front of you. I go. Ah! ah! <laughs> My robe emits some very bright light. You do the dazzling robe. I do the dazzling robe right. effect. Uh, what is that from me again? So it. Um, 
displays the shifting pattern of dazzling hues until the end of my next turn. Yes. So it's bright light in a 30-foot radius, and everyone who can see me in a 30-foot radius has to make a wisdom save. Wisdom save. All right, I'll do the uh, Triton next to you first. 17 plus... Yes, 15 okay. DC. All right, perfect. Uh, then for the shark, that's a nat 12, so no. Uh, and then the other boy... 17, so he does say, but the shark is blinded. Or stunned. 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 All right, yeah. Sharky is stunned. Uh, that is also going to hold for Virio. And oh, snap. I have and to then do. I think that's it. So it's... Oh, yeah, no, it'll hit that other one, too. Yep. So creatures, so they have disadvantage on attacks against me. And so everyone has to, everyone in a 30-foot radius that can see me. I have right, to yeah. check to see if I'm stunned. Yes, uh, wisdom, wisdom save. save. So the other Triton, sixteen, and the oh, nice. uh, yeah, the Triton's the other, the one with the bow is good. Um, the other one, twelve, just on the edge. Nice, that's you're stunned. Just safe. <laughs> well, that's cool. The DC twelve, fifteen. Oh, fifteen. I lose my rage because of this. I hope you know if no one attacks me. Um, that is no, he does not save, so he is stunned as well. Nice. So the shark and the yellow. Wait, that's only it? That's it? Um, and the Triton next to you and Virio. <laughs> Fantastic. I knew this was what's going to happen. It's just like this a is, little like, flashbang. This, this is how, this is why I haven't used it yet. Yeah, no. Well, and also, like, by the time it, it takes me to run up to get into range, two of the guys are dead already. <laughs> yeah. This is essentially that snail shell that you had that one game. Yeah, yep. yeah it is. Yep. Um, all right, roll it. Next time we're going into a dungeon, we just roll Fen again first. Just, there you go. <laughs> just kick him down the stairs. And <laughs> 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 um, we are back to the top with you, Roland, followed by the bad boys. Okay, so there's two uh, whatever you call them and a shark, right? Uh, three of the, yeah, right, yeah, two of the Sahagwin and one shark. And the shark. All first. right. Um, I will shoot the Sahagan that is furthest from the combat. All right. The shoot stunned one. This guy here. Yep. So he is stunned. Oh, I'm gonna. Oops, I'm gonna stick on yourself and then the other. That is an 18 to hit. That is a hit. Um, and I do not get sneak attack because I have disadvantage because of light and all that fun stuff. Correct. So much light happening in this fight. <gasps> it's a it's dim light another 30 feet yes. outside that. You did it. Sorry. Seven points of damage. Nice. Okay. Pop out from the little, like... It's almost like a little like cesspool that you're like hiding in. You pop up and fire it and like crouch back down. Uh, it sinks into his abdomen. He lets out a <laughs> um, and um, high check of uh, nineteen. All right, perfect. The boys are gonna kind of descend on the source of the giant blinding light. So. That one is stunned, uh, so he has disadvantage on attacks against you. Uh, everyone, yeah, everyone has disadvantage on attacks against me. Okay. And then the stunned one is has to lose his turn, right? Oh, that's right. Yeah, stunned is just stunned. So he can't go. He can't go. So the blue one is the only one who is not stunned who can attack you. It says low battery again. So. Yeah. We're getting close to the end here. Uh, that is a 17 to hit with his uh, spear. No. All right, and then he is going to bite. Okay. Nope. Both and he lunges forward with the spear, and like it just catches on your shield, and he leans forward over your shield to try to bite down on your neck, and you just batter it away with your shield. That's it for the bads. Uh, Virio, you are up next. I'm stunned. I don't do anything and my rage ends. All right. Kismet, you are up, followed by the Tritons, who are one of them is stunned. Here you go. You can replace it with the salty badge. 
No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, okay. it's whatever. Um, I'm sorry, Mario. There are the three tritons. Shark boys left. Yes. Yep. Um, or sorry, two of this are green and this one is a shark shark. <laughs> a proper shark. Um, I want to attack with Firebolt at whichever of the Sagreen, um looks more rough off. Alright, uh, you did probably just see Roland sink an arrow nice into the uh, the chest cavity of the uh, green one. The green one, okay. I'll fire a bolt in. No, that's oh an my. eight. Alright, yeah, just whizzes overhead and disappears into the horizon. Mm -hmm. um, anything else, Kismet? That'll be it. Alright, next up is the Tritons, followed by Aurora. Uh, one of them is stunned, so he is just stunned. The one with his bow is going to fire at the shark. Natural 17, yes. What happens practically when nice. someone's stunned? You can't oh, take just reactions, like, can't do saves, you can't do you have yeah. advantage on attacks? Uh, against them, yeah. Against them, yeah. Um, the <coughs> archer pulls back another one of those long barbed arrows and releases it and just catches the shark straight through the top of the skull and it just rolls over <laughs> dead. It falls up. Wait. <laughs> it falls to the ground. Wait. <laughs> how, um, how deep are these shallows? For you, they're about waist deep. Um, if you guys were to go out any deeper uh, than you are, it would start becoming difficult terrain, but it's not just yet. Or get into swim speed territory, but... We'll get there. Um, next up is Aurora, followed by Fendrick. Um, I am going to uh, do more damage with my crossbow. Okay. All right. I'm just going to shoot my crossbow again at um, Green Boy. Alrighty. Uh, that's only fifteen. That is a hit. Okay. And that will be um, six points of damage. Very nice. Crossbow bolt sticks in him and lets out another one of those guttural raging screams. Um, anything else, Aurora? Um, I think that will be it for me. Yeah. All righty. Fenric. I'm gonna swing. You wanna kill the shark? Yeah. I'm gonna swing at the other guy. Alright. He is not stunned. Oh god, that was a 12. 12 hits? Oh boy. That's good. Uh, 10 points of damage. Very nice. Very nice. You sink your blade in and it just screeches, still confused by the bright, shiny attack that you had done to its cohorts. Um, that'll bring us back up to Roland. Alrighty. Um, just gonna take another shot at the one I shot before. Alright, perfect. That's a natural one, my friend. Highs or lows? Always go lows. Alright. Um it doesn't seem immediate, Roland, but you as you fire this bow, just the water was spraying up in your eyes and lost your balance slightly as you went to fire it. Uh you kind of clatter your bow onto the stone before you and you hear it crack a little bit. Okay, cool. Um Next up is Beds. Um, Fenric, have you taken damage yet? Not. No. Okay. Not for my like concentration. Uh, just in general. They have yes. A thing. Yes, okay. I have. Right. I am not at full HP. All right. Uh, the blue guy takes four points of damage. All right. All right, and he is going to swing at you first. Uh, he has advantage on his attack with his spear. Disadvantage with the um. Actually, no. I think that's that's against the other person. Yeah, the other one is stunned. Mm. 
He's he's swinging at me, right? Yep. Oh, with your cape. Yeah. It's just end of next turn. Um. So uh, yes. So I do not have any counters dis disadvantage. Yes. Okay. Um. It's a twenty-one to hit. Yes. All right. So you will take. Eight points of piercing as he brings it down over the top of you, finally getting past your shield. It just catches you in the collarbone. Uh, and then he's going to bite. Wow. Damn near double that ones. Um, as he bites forward now that he's like he sees the blood, and you like you see like this frenzy in his eyes go like a little more intensely, and he like leans forward to like just take a chunk out of the top of your head and you just boom, catch him in the underside of the jaw with your shield uh, rebuffing him um, and the other one is still stunned or no? Nope, he missed his turn last time so now okay, he's, so no, he's no, out good. All right, um, he is going to regaining his vision, just go back to attacking the last person he was attacking which was Aurora Aww. which is no it's a <laughs> 5 to hit um, he just hurls this, his third spear at you and it just clatters to the stones behind you. Um, and that'll do it for them. Birio. Uh, blue boy, take a uh, con save con for the sword. Save. Correct. Okay. That is a natural eight plus one, so nine. I'm going to say no. I think it's like a DC 12 or something. Yeah, it's definitely higher than a nine. I failed my, <laughs> I failed my con. Here, can you pull uh, concentration? Yep. That which is and the shield, the shield of faith. Perfect. But he, he, that guy is still cursed. All right. All done. Uh, that is back to the top for Roland. No wait, that was just the baddies that just went. Virio, you are up. My bad. Um. Okay. Um. Am I within? The are forty feet away from the closest enemy. Oh, how far away am I from the yellow one? Sixty feet. Exactly sixty feet. Sweet. <laughs> uh, then I will. I um, go ahead and just go. Uh, uh, bong <laughs> and cast all the dead. <laughs> Wisdom save. Yeah. <laughs> a little hem and haw you do right before you like cast it. Oh Jesus, I don't even know which die that was. It just clattered by D twelve across the way. Uh that is a twelve. Damn it, that's what you needed to save. Uh. <laughs> well then I'm going to No, I'm just gonna hang out okay. next to this person. I want I wanna make sure they're safe, so Alright. Kismet, you are up next. How are they both looking? Uh, pretty shitty. Okay. Um, I'll shoot another firebolt at the green boy. All right. That is a 16 to hit. That is a hit. Ooh. Seven fire damage. Blast your firebolt forward and it just into the face and just you see the charred remains of fish skin as it falls into the waves. Ha! <laughs> it worked! <laughs> got him! Yeah, yeah. Having, I got him. Yeah. Having shark for dinner tonight. <laughs> I didn't know it created fire. It usually creates spooky hands. <laughs> it's an upgraded bong. Uh, the tritons are up. He's going to move uh, 10, 15. 20 into combat there and pluck his long sword. There we go. All right, John, man. About time. He can't, he's not hit with that stupid sword yet. He pulls out his long sword. Shuck. Uh, and he just plunges it forward, catching it just beneath the jaw in the throat, one might say. Uh, and it falls to the ground dead. I don't need to roll for damage. It was at 200 points. So, as these creatures all lie dead in the waves, the triton standing next to you, Fenric, um, the one standing next to you, Vir Virio, turn and <clears throat> say, thank you. 
We've been on the run for hours now. We didn't think we were going to make it back to the grotto. Uh, they both look very torn up and very, very injured. After their, uh, escapade. Uh, mm. k- kismet. Hmm. I have some ointment. <laughs> you need it? I mean, I mean, I smell like ointment. I'm old. It's what I old people that. smell like. You didn't need to tell me that one. Yeah. Is it for you or is it for them? It's for them. Yeah, I can do it. Are you sure? Why don't you trust me with healing? <laughs> <laughs> I have had a perfect track record. I just don't trust you with valuable items. Oh, I'm not going to sell it. Do you want to buy it? <laughs> 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 No, you don't want to buy it, Triton? Sorry, my name's Dr. Weir Tompkins. I'm sorry. We're um, a traveling salesman. Would you like to buy some healing today, sir? You fight well for a salesman. No, oh, thank you. Um, I shove him out of the way, and I'm going to give each of them one of the ointment uses. All right, perfect. Uh, after the after you give them this ointment, they their wounds seem to knit themselves back together very, very well. Uh, they both look... At very high health. Um, my name is the blue one. Seems to be in charge. This is my name is Zavras. This is Kodos. Thank you for your help. Who sent you? Hi, I'm Virio. No, Wait, I'm no, no damn Virio. it, we've practiced this. <laughs> Hi, I'm Fenric. We practiced Hello. our intros. <laughs> um, well. Let's move out of this water before more of them come. They swarm to the smell there of blood. Are more. There are many more. Fine. They Just get me out of this swamp. Very well. Uh, they step up and uh, you guys kind of find a nice small green patch of grass that's not damp swamp nastiness. I'm like, yes. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's almost dry. Even. Damp swamp. <laughs> yeah. Yes, hello, yes, hello. What? Yes, hello. hello. Yes, hello. Are you referring to yes. me? <laughs> that perhaps, is us. <laughs> perhaps my brother. Yes, brother. 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 Oh I'd just gosh, like to formally not... apologize. I didn't think that would go on that long. <laughs> Every <laughs> time. <laughs> um, they sit down and pull out a small... Uh, flask of water and begin to drink from it and <clears throat> so who sent you? Uh, it kind of depends on if you're talking about in general Trevor's here <laughs> Hello. Um, in general why we are here in this region or why we are specifically right here right now as of the last like two minutes ago I guess the bigger why we just we've been accosted by people from every angle since we've retreated into this bay. Uh. We were worried you were more wishing to take us down. No, well, we're really just looking for a thing. Yeah. Don't worry, there shouldn't be any gouging unless you buy something from him. Price gouging. Price gouging. Oh, I see. Sorry, I don't. Jokes. I don't. That's I don't right. like to explain my jokes, but you know they usually need it because they're so bad. <laughs> so bad. That's all right. Humor's not my strong point either. Uh, you said you retreated here. Yes. From where? From our home beneath the waves. Um, we were driven out by the Sahagui nigh on a month and a half or so ago. We've been running ever since. We've gotten as many refugees as we can hidden away along the shores um, but the Sahagwin are relentless in hunting us down. So would you say the Sahagwin would be the kind of guys who would you know, kill a bunch of local residents for no reason? They are mindless killers when their frenzy takes them. We've not had incursions with them for many years. We thought they had sort of carved out their turf in the undersea and we had ours, but it seems something has roused them lately and they attacked en masse 
a few days after a bulk of our defensive forces left to uh, deal with a kraken in the depths. So yes. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> to answer your question. Yes. They, as far as we've known them, and as long as we have known them, just attack without mercy and without hesitation. I told you there was a kraken. You sure did. Wow, everybody. Fenric really told us. Oh, oh got him. Oh, got him. Fenric just like starts dabbing. Like, oh, yeah. I'm just like, no. What is this? This motion you are making. I with I don't mind. know. Virio taught it to me. It must be like an old thing. Yeah, it's like um, <laughs> it's like high fiving yourself for a good job. Like uh, a high five like dunk. A, like a pat on the back. Yeah. But like dunking. But I can't reach around in this armor, what so I do. Dunking, I do this like stuff. jumping into the water and then getting out quickly. It's no. like puncturing a Capri Sun on the first try. <laughs> ah, I see. I understand now. <laughs> The universal language. He pulls out a Capri Sun. <laughs> hey, Capri Sun. Hey. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Clar Bruin's missing out on a golden opportunity. Why don't you uh, step in? Puncturing a Clar Bruin on the first try. Wait. I don't like Capri Sun. It's okay. We can fill him with Clar Bruin. <laughs> Those idiots will never know the difference. I mean, they'll never know the difference. I mean, wait. <laughs> I'm so Damn curious it. as to how that would happen. <laughs> syringes. Lots of syringes. It's just a bag of well, juice. <laughs> do you have a place we could, uh... It might even be more safe than here to sit down and chat. Do you have, like, a campsite? Or not wet. Not wet. Do you know of any place? We just got here from a little bit further south. north. South. south <laughs> east. West. Um, east. West. I thought you said we east. Came, we came north. East. Ish. I thought we went north and then we came south and around. I'm not very good with directions. You guys were in Malmere. You arrived here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So we did go around, down and around. And then you teleported. you teleported through the tree to this region here. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Yep. That's so much backtracking. Yep. Well, <laughs> it's fine. It's worth it. We made a friends. A friends. <laughs> and I gave you a fast travel. <laughs> Yeah. What do you want from me? Slow um, travel. Uh, we, <laughs> we have a... Ooh, gum. <laughs> I don't know about a, uh, how dry it'll be, but we do have a small uh, encampment for those of us who are out on patrol to defend our larger numbers uh, that we could take you back to. Let's do it. Very good. Um, they stand up and lead you guys... Uh, through the somewhat fetid marshlands, uh, it doesn't smell great, but eventually you do arrive at <laughs> There's thunder! Tap dancing dog show! <laughs> <laughs> um, they do lead you to a small, a very simple encampment. It's just some tents, which actually appear to be set up like halfway submerged in the water. Um, oh, yes. They have some... Uh, Not wet at all. There are, there are pieces of it that are not uh, in the water. You can easily find some large rocks and uh, higher ground to sit on. It just seems where they are actually camped out is partially submerged as they require water. Um, you are all given uh, some rations of uh, dried fish and some fruit that they have on them. And you can plan your next moves as that is where we will end the session today. Woo! Nice! Nice job. Yeah! We did it. We will be back on Monday with the next session for the Tyranny of Dragons campaign. Um, that'll be Monday 6-ish, and then we'll be back here Thursday for the I could. continuation of the Amber Are Wars. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to go to Redmancer.com and use the promo code Amber Wars at checkout for free shipping on all orders over $25, which you will absolutely spend on all their super cool merch. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.